No, I'm thinking about running these people over with my semi. <laughs> Did you see when that happened on that bridge? With the tanker truck? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that guy was thinking. He was going 75. He claims there was an accident. There probably was. Cookie cutters are going to slam on their brakes for Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If only some newsworthy things have happened over these past six months we could talk about. It's a shame. How long has it been? It had been October. October, Jesus. <laughs> we are consistently inconsistent. That's some hiatus. That doesn't even qualify as inconsistent. I, I was gone during the whole COVID-19 thing. Gone. I was out of state. You guys yeah. stuck down in here. Unfucking believable. So, Lenny, what are your thoughts on the new normal? That, that's, that's the new thing we keep hearing on the news every day. No. The new Everything normal. According to who? They? Hitler. <laughs> well, that, that's the biggest mistake of the 20th century, obviously. Not siding up with them and taking out the Russians, which we were... <laughs> See, don't, you don't, wanted to know, you messaged that earlier. When is yep. Lenny going to start talking yep. about Hitler? When Jay brings it up. Exactly. <laughs> he loves to stir that. The shit. ultimate troll right here. You just let's talk, about, let's talk about now. Yeah, well, who are the two most hated men in the past hundred odd years? The new norm. was. It's like what the... What about Joseph Stalin? Lenny. He's not hated by the masses. He's used as a... Let me see your mic. It's an icon. Is he crackling? Hold it like the goddess's cock. Right. Oh. <laughs> the new norm. Isn't that what your uh, New York governor that talks like Christopher Walken said? Oh, Nobody wants to hear you that gotta term always anymore. wear a mask now. Well, you can get a no. colorful one that matches your shoes. Well, well, wearing your a mask belts. is aiding the looters. Ooh. They're going to places with cameras and looting the hell out of it, and they won't be able to identify them because of the masks. And I like I was involved, Perfect not involved, storm. but I had a gun pulled on me when I was in, living in Miami at the Dollar General by three look like Haitians wearing full face masks that hijacked the delivery from the Dollar General truck in the back in the parking lot. And I was the only one there. And the Spanish manager was a woman. Why were you in came the out of the store because that's where the parking was. Oh. She came out screaming, stop thief, looking at me, stop thief. I looked to the left. One guy pulled a gun out of his jeans. They all had masks on, and the other two guys were loading stuff. Juice. Crap like that into their Toyota. Wow. And she's telling me to stop. I look to the left, and I look to the right. I'm like, duh. And you got to be out of your mind. Well, we were talking about that, Jay, before you got here, how there hasn't been some monumental spike in petty crime ever since everybody started wearing masks. There has been. Well, Mass there has been absolutely well murders what? went down in the beginning of COVID-19 big time then they slowly crept back up to normal like there was a couple weekends in a row where Chicago wasn't that bad well, because everybody was ordered to stay inside right but it didn't last long oh. now they're back to killing 25 people a weekend in Chicago <laughs> well and on top of all that they're releasing prisoners from jail yeah so they're well, if mass you know what joining in on the you riot, know what conveniently <laughs> got lost in the news cycle today because of all the coverage on riots hillary clinton lost her appeal she is going to have to testify in the email scandal in court i think in november you'll only hear about that on fox news no one else will talk about that i i didn't even see it on fox news today i saw it on instagram the republican party's uh, page what do you think that's going to uncover she's going to she's going to have convenient amnesia you won't get a word out of that woman She's she's untouchable. Hmm. She's a slick willy like her husband. <laughs> slick willy. But also, the, all the other people that have been spilling the beans from the Obama administration on the fake Russia hoax and all the Spiel dossier, Steel dossier and all that nonsense, it's all getting conveniently lost in the news cycle, all these things are saying. Well, there's a full-scale investigation going on that's just lost. No one hears about it. Well, because of what's going on right now. Exactly. They're covering the protests and the rioting and the looting. I can understand a protest, but... To this, ri this riot has been the best thing ever for Barack Hussein Obama's reputation. 
because everything's getting just lost in the sauce that's yeah. coming out right now. I wonder why he's not up speaking to try to tell people to calm the fuck down. George where, Bush where, did where, a little bit. Where are all the leaders? Where's Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Farrakhan. Obama, Michelle Think Obama? Sharpton is speaking at George Farrakhan. Floyd's funeral tomorrow yeah. for whatever that's worth. Because of one fucking jerk-off cop. Yeah, that guy is an asshole. Of, of course, you know. You could tell by the smug look on his face, and he had his hands in his pockets on purpose because he knew he was being filmed. You know, he, he knew what he was doing. Even being filmed, he continued to do it. I mean, what the fuck? It makes you wonder what he would have done if he wasn't being filmed. Yeah, no shit. He would have kneed him in the face. What do you think, Leonard? It's fair to say if your arms are handcuffed behind your back, which mine has been a few occasions in the past. And you're on the ground. You should able have to, his knee in his back. But you're able to, fucking you could able to do a type of a kick where you can kick somebody out, possibly, you know, launch yourself, kick somebody in the face. Is that a possibility? I don't know. Did we see the entire day? They're, they're supposed to get get off of them the minute they stop resisting. It's common sense. And they, they don't teach that technique in the police academy. Well, that's the problem is your training yeah. sucks. Yeah, they don't train people to choke people out with your knee in the police academy. I don't think he intended to kill him. I just think he no. said he was an asshole. Wasn't following procedure. That's why upgrading it to murder two today was a mistake because they got to prove intent now. That's first degree. No, that's second. Pre that's pre that's pre -med pre -med premeditated. is first. Okay. Second degree, you have the intent, but you didn't think about it beforehand. See, they had a slam dunk murder three. Slam dunk. Now they're they're trying to bite off a little bit more. Now you're gonna have to now all you need is one bad juror that doesn't think the guy intended to. So what did they well, indict everybody on? Now I understand. I don't know about today. the other three cops. They've been arrested. They got him today. I know. They, I know. Charged? What is that Chinese Accessory. dude guilty of? He he looks guilty of just being a complete dipshit. The Chinaman. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They all they all need to go away, for sure. <laughs> that Chinese dude, who gave the decision to give that dude a badge? That dude, I wouldn't do a thing that dude said. I heard he's on the run. Did they catch him? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't yes, see that. he's on the run. No shit. <laughs> of course, it turns into a BLM march instead of a police brutality march. It's got to be Black Lives Matter. It's, how about all lives? I'm not concerned matter? about how them. How what about those? How many cops white? beat the shit out of white people too? True. They're, they're but where? Of, what's what is the story with the white cookie cutter skateboarding communists? Who the the Antifa's? Yes, the skateboard punks. <laughs> That's what they say. You can identify them with a backpack and a skateboard. Yeah. Yeah. That describes tens of millions of kids. <laughs> and certain post on workers <laughs> that remain nameless. One who's not here. You won't yes. see me out there. Yeah, exactly. By the way, I understand that uh, Trump wanted to bring into the military, and that has happened a, a dozen times in this country. And they're all for so-called, the R word, you know, I don't like to say the word, it doesn't exist. We all know what it is. But one of the occasions was in 1970, and they had to do it for, I think it was the New York, I believe, Postal Service Union. Mm. <laughs> yes, Nixon oh, called and, it. And on the uh, school steps in Alabama, getting that black girl into school. Yeah, racial. But the 11 racial incidents were Desegregation by Desegregation of the Alabama schools. They, the federal yeah. government used the military. And with the, the exception of those race issues was the one with the Postal Service, and I believe it's New York. Yeah. That law that allows the federal government to use troops domestically, because you'll hear a lot of c people on Facebook and Instagram that think they're constitutional lawyers that, that'll try and say it's not legal for the president to use troops on, on, on his own people. That was true in the original Constitution, but in 1807, they did a new law, some kind of act. I can't remember the name that of it. overrides that. Yeah, now, and, and they used it a ton uh, right after Lincoln was assassinated. Federal troops were the ones who kept the calm. So when people say the government can't use federal troops here domestically, they're, they're, they're stupid. They're completely misinformed. It's some kind of act of 1807. I forget the name of it. You got to do something. You can't continue to let this shit go. Yeah, when, after Lincoln got assassinated, if it wasn't for the federal troops, this country would have been in chaos. Absolute chaos. Like it is now. 
No. The, the Illuminati is never going to let the shit get too bad. I think now that those other three cops have officially been charged, cooler heads down, will start yeah. to prevail. Yeah. Well, they'll move on to something else. I think they could have made that happen with just a uh, protest and not. You know, you know the the, down the bad thing. They're going to go back through this guy's life, the past thirty years, and try and find one person that he said the N word in front of, and then they're going to label it a hate crime. Well, they said he had gotten. Like multiple complaints already. Yeah, for his- I don't understand that whole hate crime thing. If I call you an asshole and punch you in the face, that's okay. But if I call you the N word and punch you in the face, it's a hate crime. But you know, there's another twist to the story. He and George Lloyd used to work together as security guards way back when. No they, way. Yeah, saw, you didn't hear I about saw, that. No. Who, that. Who's to say there isn't some old beef between the Absolutely two of them? Absolutely, there Maybe, is. You know, they worked at a nightclub. Who knows what kind of shady side deals they may have been Jealousy making? Jealousy over women. Right. Maybe something or someone owed what the other one yeah. money. You never oh. know. Maybe his. Maybe the police officer's wife got blacked. <laughs> That's a very good. That may, you may be De- prophetic on define that. Define blacked, Jay. Uh, it's it's when a wife arranges a gangbang for her cuckold husband to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I asked. <laughs> You've never heard of a wife getting blacked? No, it's a cuck husband has to watch her get fucking. You, you've trained. heard of this, Lenny? I've seen it many times. <laughs> He's been and actually, I was part, forced to in it. pimp and pander to it when I was asked if there's any bulls in the club, because it's my wife's birthday and I want to treat her. <laughs> oh, dude, let's not let's not turn this podcast into cuckolding, please. Uh, I don't want to spend an hour talking about how, different levels of you cuckolding. Can talk about whatever you want. Feel free. But it goes on at unprecedented rates. I mean, it was as common as They're day. supposed to use condoms at the club, though. There's no cream pie cleanup. Believe me, there's no... <laughs> there's nobody policing There's condoms that. provided, but who's going to stop it? You know? That's what I, I had to clean I've up. seen cuck porn where the, where the wife actually takes the condom off the bull and then feeds them the inside. <laughs> the bull. <laughs> <laughs> Uses her fingers like a squeegee and has every last drop into his mouth. Speaking of bulls, Lenny, there were a few bulls you were talking to us before the podcast you wanted to call out from yesterday. Yes, I was uh, blacked out Tuesday on the Instagrams. Oh, okay. And regretfully, there's a number in the internet bodybuilding community that did a blackout too, and I just want to mention their names. Just as, you know, common knowledge. Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's Black a cuck. Screen, yeah. Flex Lewis. Midget dwarf. <laughs> known homosexual. <laughs> Disappointingly, RX muscle. They got to protect their brand. They got to protect their la- They got to protect their social media so they can't be labeled as, oh, you don't care about us. That's just to show that we care. What about Redcon? Yeah. Bullshit. Not that I know of. If you maniacs want to text us or let us know all the ones that you know, we're going to make a giant list. And it doesn't get any more cookie cutter than that. Did you invent that blackout? Why would you follow that? What is the purpose? Does anything, anyone have anything better to do? It's to show their support, Leonard, for the BLM movement. Come on. If you don't do that, you're a racist. If you don't do that, you're a racist. There's no you such. That? That's an R Even word. Though, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It doesn't exist. They could say it. Well, the, you you can't be neutral on racism in 2020. You're either racist or anti-racist. And if you don't so kiss people, their ass. People are pretending to be anti-racist instead of staying neutral because they don't want to be labeled a racist. And black people can't be racist. Right. Remember that, too. There's no such thing yeah. as neutral anymore. You're either a racist or an anti-racist. Gotcha. So you got to do a preemptive strike to make yourself look anti-racist so the finger doesn't get pointed at you. So if you stay neutral, are so it's you all racist fake. by default? Yes, it's all fake nonsense bullshit. Cookie cutters to the max. They're, they're sheep and they're followers. You can't be they're Switzerland they're... on the topic of racism. Otherwise, you're labeled a racist. I just got news from Hamburg that Stockholm is protesting. Yeah, they're protesting. I and he says he doesn't see any black people over there at all. 
Well, they have more of a Muslim it's problem. It's not about black. It's about police brutality. That's what it needs to stay In, about. Incorrect right? police procedures. Correct. Police brutality. There's plenty of whites that get killed don't by Don't like that's a too. cookie cutter term. I don't like to use it. What? I'll tell you what. If you're home every day by 7 o'clock, like Andrew, you're never going to get brutalized <laughs> by the police. <laughs> ever. It's 7.30, Jay. Right. Yeah. Well, you're, you're not nothing like, good uh, happens after midnight. Lloyd well, George. Call him Lloyd Forge, the forger. Oh, Is anybody going to bring up him? Yeah, that, that, that was just a nonsense bullshit excuse for them to go try and serve him a warrant. Is that what they did? I think serve so. He had warrant? an outstanding warrant, I think, for a fake 20. Oh, a fake $20 bill. <sighs> but well, his, least... his record was fucking long and nasty. But that can't be used against you. He had a home invasion, fucking hit a woman over the head with something. Yeah, he did five years. They said that in 2007. Well, yeah. I hope they take that consideration when they make a museum and a street and a statue out of him. <laughs> like they did Michael Brown. Well, I, I don't, Who's Mike? Michael Brown? That big kid that pushed over that. It's Ferguson riots. Oh, okay. Oh, see, you said who is it now? You've got... You should be ashamed of yourself. You need to know that, Andrew. You must be a racist for not knowing who that is. Yeah. Good fucking Lord. Oh, my God. At least Drew Brees had it's the balls to get out and make a statement. Yeah. yeah, I was reading about that. These young 20-something white kids that are out there running around with the protesters and thugs are fucking the, the biggest jackasses of them all. Oh, yeah. They're fucking well, those are the ones who are recent college graduates who are brainwashed by their liberal professors. And they got into school, you know, once paddling stopped. And they're the ones that call the police and DCF when their, when their mommy or daddy slaps them across the face with a fucking Yeah, they don't expect spoon. to be they don't, police to uh, dominate them or anything like that. But th some of them are going to find out the hard slip? way. That's what Trump said. We need to dominate the streets. That'll shut them up. It worked in... Uh, the Los Angeles riots. You know, 92. Trump leaked his own phone call, I think, to the governors a few days ago when they had that conference call with all the governors and mm -hmm. Trump said, some of you are just weak. Mm -hmm. You need to fucking kick it up, put the hammer down yeah, and dominate the streets. Yeah, you look like streets. jerks. Yeah. Dude, that, that, that phone call was leaked like minutes later. And I was listening to Rush Limbron. and Rush is like, don't think that Trump just wouldn't leak that on his own. Of course. Because <laughs> Trump wants the American people to hear what he said to these fucking pussy ass blue state governors. Especially that Illinois governor. What a piece of shit. What about he that is. cunt that runs Michigan? <laughs> I want to butt fuck her. With a rusty shovel, right? No, I won't say that. I want my I want to really butt fuck her with my own cock. And come inside it. I might make love to her. She looks like she's got some nice big buns to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Gretchen Whitmer or whatever yeah. name is, I'd fuck that. Yeah, if I might eat get, it if you could get your dick hard. <laughs> I might eat it too. I could get my dick hard. Then she'll make you shelter in place for two months. Oh God, Jay's a one pump chump now. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I get tired from because, fucking. Right. I quit before I can even come. <laughs> I'm ready for a sandwich. It's too much work. You oh, got to find a spinner that'll just do all the work and hop on you. Coming inside a woman is way too much work nowadays. <laughs> you know you're old when you're saying that shit. Yeah. It's just <laughs> less less stress to just whack off. Less work, less cardio. <laughs> you have to hear hear them talk to you afterwards. Well, I don't mind the chit-chat, but everyone likes to look but <laughs> Linda makes a really good sandwich. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, just a, I even sometimes feel like I'm going to have a heart attack getting a blowjob. You know, like at the very end when you, all your muscles are flexing, and I feel my blood pressure start to go up, and I'm like, am I going to die or come? I need to come really quick so I don't die. It's fucked. <laughs> And that's that's Superdraw was fucking. It's almost like the uh, autoerotic asphyxiation. Yeah, right? dude, Superdraw. 
I, I, I didn't even want to beat off on that super draw in the third week. I'm glad I gave that shit to you. Ooh, and I was only doing 10 milligrams a day. I was reading that some clowns do 30 milligrams a day of super draw. With, a, with fucking six a hurricane. I think that's why all these red that con really guys helps. are dropping dead. They're doing too much gear. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're mixing alcohol with gear and you haven't dropped dead. What the hell is that? Gear and alcohol is it? I I mo- would be more afraid to do go- cocaine on some gear. Like imagine doing trend and cocaine. Ugh, I would rather die. That's when you're gonna get out the pistol and blow your head off. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head like yeah? The yeah, others. Well, they- stimulants and gear don't mix. Do not mix. You want to be on something that mellows you out, like G. G does not mellow you out. GHB. GHB mellows me out. I get all sleepy. You get the nods from it. I don't know. I didn't get that effect. You must have got Molly. No, but once you lay down and go to sleep, you sleep great. But when it kicks in, you're... It's definitely, you know, used correctly, of course. Don't. I think a it. GHB buzz is very similar to an alcohol buzz. Yeah. It's like you do a tablespoon of that horse shit, and it's like you drank a fifth of Jack Daniels. It's a hell of a lot better for your body, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. We used it as a fat burner in the early 90s when it was over the counter. Oh, yeah. Anti-cortisol supplement. Yeah, we used to get GHB at the health food store, and we had little G parties. Yeah, that's when a gallon was $200. No, No, not even. You could get the powder in a can at GNC for $20. That was before before I knew about it. That must have been 89-ish. Yes, Okay. Right around that time. You were in college. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Tony Mandarich era. And why did they ban it? Because kids started uh, dying from it, falling asleep, and going into a coma. Guys were putting it in girls' drinks with an eyedropper, the liquid form, when they went to the bathroom, oh, so they pass a, out. As a date rate. Ask uh, so-and-so from around here. He had 20 videos of girls I, from I, Club Bokeh carrying Dude, the amount of GHB. Videotaping being raped. I have a problem with that. Who? What, who? The amount of GHB that it's going to take someone to, to, to incapacitate someone so they don't know you're butt-fucking them, you're going to taste that in your drink. Like, you're not going to put a little eyedropper full of GHB in my drink and butt-fuck me. No. It's... You're going to have to put a couple tablespoons in there, and it's going to taste like salt seawater. Right, it tastes like salt water, yeah. So I, when people say they were date rape drugged and fucked, they really wanted to fuck. I don't fuck. know. After you've had about five or six drinks, most you rape, really even fucking taste what the hell you're drinking at that you, point? You would taste GHB in a mixed drink. Yeah. That shit is foul. Yeah. If you put a full heaping teaspoon in a vodka and cranberry, you'd still taste it. Oh, yeah. And that's not enough to butt fuck me. <laughs> without me you know what i mean <laughs> you sure oh you know, i want but buy me dinner first we're on <laughs> so what else has been going on leonard we finally well, got back to doing this yeah, i'm back in back. town uh, don't mention well, where you're staying no but marvin the motel six locally. on lantana road <laughs> <laughs> marvin hooked me up locally he's went back to canada he'll be back soon Am I hallucinating, or did I just hear my doorbell? You're hallucinating. Lenny, have you ever heard of any rumors about the Motel 6 on Lantana Road across the street from that Publix? Over there by, uh, Mc- there's a McDonald's over there? Yes, uh, there's escorts over there. Every, I think that that's like a shady place, like the homing inn. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, Jay had to make a stop there, leaving my house. One I stayed there. <laughs> you saw a lot of traffic? Oh yeah. As as oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was the night you and Marvin came up. Yes, yeah, so it was the night that I met Marvin. I yeah. didn't. I didn't go all the way home. I reserved a room at the Motel Six on my uh, Wick or my Expedia account, and pulled in and got a room. And that was smart of you not to drive all the way home. Yeah, and I had I had a shit ton of beer, so I I got my door open and I'm just pounding malt liquor, watching the riffraff. There's like <laughs> riffraff that lives there. Yeah, but when they see you, I'm sure they think twice (laughs) i got yelled at by the security guard for walking around with an open can of beer it's supposed to be in a cup (laughs) whatever but you saw some nice talents no 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 street urchin people man real low class there was no fine hookers i wanted to bang i don't think there's any fine street hookers i rarely see any fucking hookers i want to bang even at the truck stops never what truck stop do you say has the most that you've seen you don't see the hookers 
they 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 call they talk to the truckers on CB. They find out what rig you're in, and they swoop in in a car. You hop out, you hop in their car, and then you go somewhere and fuck. I don't like that idea the, at all. Mm-hmm. The lot lizards don't crawl into your cab anymore because that's how the cops arrest them. The minute that girl c- crawls into your cab, you're both fucking guilty. That's a bad deal letting a fucking hooker in your truck. So if you meet a chick at a bar by the truck stop and you bring her back to your truck, she's like, I've never fucked in a truck before. I want to go back. You're to fine the with truck. that. Okay. She's not a whore. So why can't you say that if a cop pulls up on you? You could, but okay. he knows the local working girls, dude. Yeah. You're pretty much. Plus, I don't want to give the cops a reason to search my truck. <laughs> I don't want to give anybody any reason if I. Yeah. That's why I drink my beers out of a coffee cup. I, I don't want any problems with any people at a truck stop. You don't drink any hard liquor on the road? Very rarely. If I go to the bar, but I haven't been to the I was, didn't go to the bar a single time during the COVID-19. I saved a ton of cash. We went out on Saturday. We went to that one we were talking about, and then we went to Connolly's. Packed. Connolly's rocks. Connolly's was packed. The first bar, they had, you know, you Every other seat at the bar. There was no seats at the bar. You had to stand, but then you had to be separated. Yeah. We ate there. Great burger, too. It was good. Like Brass Ring is known for a good yeah, burger. Yeah, yeah, it was good. And then we went over to Connolly's. Who I saw, I saw Caesar there. Remember Caesar? No shit. Yeah. I thought he moved all the way up north. I yeah, moved back. Were really? there people yeah. standing at the bar at Connolly's? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. It was like a regular night, man. Oh, people so they're... Outside, inside. So they're, the they're, they're uh, not there doing... Live, there was a live band. There was no... None of that. No social distancing? No. Nobody had masks on. It was like a regular fucking night. Well, they got food. They can say they're a restaurant. They got good food. The cook that works there is a kick-ass guy. Yeah. Looks like a biker, but he's like, rides a (laughs) 10-speed. That describes a lot of cooks. Yeah. So, Lenny, any Ruby update for this year? Of course not. I know Dale's looking like shit. No. Yeah, clear that up now because Cornelius messaged me. I should get back to him. He's, yeah, he's, actually, I communicate with Cornelius on a semi-regular basis now via Instagram. We send posts and stuff, and his stuff is very educational. Brings a lot of points to the table. Just he too knows much, his stuff. Too much to read sometimes. It's a little long-winded uh, on those. Cornelius uh, blo- yeah. blocked me because I, I laughed when I found out he was trying to get back with his first wife after the second wife flew the coop so quick. Oh, Jesus Is he Christ. really? That's what I heard. That's you know, what you heard. Well, the one, he that remember those photos of him on the beach with Dale as his best man. Yes. That wedding lasted like, or that marriage lasted like a month. That chick bailed with some other guy. Are you sure about that? Yeah. And then Corn, and then and then I I heard a I, I must have been doing a live or something, and someone said Cornelius is now trying to get back with his first wife, and I just cracked up over it, and I think Cornelius got butt hurt. And blocked you? Yeah. Wow. And Dale even has me unblocked. Cornelius usually, usually isn't that sensitive. Well, I laughed at the fact he was trying to get back with the first wife after the second wife left him with some other guy. You you love fucking relationship <laughs> trauma. Know. You're like a fucking female. I, know. I, just, I, know. I thought there was you, something fishy about that wedding with Dale as his best man on the beach. I actually thought it was a, a wedding for citizenship. I thought maybe that girl was from Europe and he was just doing it to be friends. Because it just seems so weird. He just got lost his half his gym in the first marriage. You don't go getting well. You do now. Don't it, go now getting <laughs> remarried right away. Fuck you! I never got remarried. Brad's a bad example for serial monogamy. Don't come to me for relationship. No. Advice. Well, no. You're actually good at it. You get right in another one right away. Yeah. You're the genius at that. Yeah. Because I'm insecure and scared to be alone. Yeah, you, that's what it is. You don't sit at home, tears in your beer. You're out there on your feet. Yeah, hey. We all have our own path. Andrew went the opposite direction. That's right. Scorn and bitter. <laughs> he man, woman haters club for a life. Oh. Pump and dump. I mean, Andrew's I hate, got, Andrew I hate, has secret relationships we don't know about. I hate no one. <laughs> I'm just not marrying anyone. Uh, I want. I want. I want either step grandkids. Like marry a woman who's got a kid with kids or like do a foster grandparent thing. I can't imagine being 20 years older than I am now and no little kids to play with. Yeah, who are you going to leave your inheritance to? Right. (laughs) No, but I would love to be like bad grandpa, like the the, the one that takes them to the Marlins game and feeds them full of hot dogs and Mountain Dew and then drops them off. (laughs) I think being a bad grandpa would be an absolute blast. 
because with little kids, you can do anything you want. It's it's, it's like getting us four to go do something next to impossible. The four of us going to a dolphin game. Right. Yeah, it's not going to no, work. No, no, no. But I we could, can't even do a fucking podcast. I know, but yeah. you can <laughs> snatch up three little grandkids in a New York minute and go do a dolphins game because you're the only one that has that word to say about it. Not now. <laughs> well, the woman has saying it. I'm saying with all the new. Who knows what the new regulations? There'll be football in September. I think they said they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna restart the NBA season now at the end of July. Does anyone even give a shit anymore? No. I don't. They're gonna. Do I couldn't like a, care they're less. They're gonna do a tournament that, uh, up in Orlando. I, hey, we're not even. We're, they're even gonna have the first week of college football because I looked at the calendar. Labor Day is as late as it possibly can be. It's the seventh. It's the first Monday. Well, all this marching and pro- the protests, the riots, and all that shit with all these people in such close quarters is going might just prove that the virus ain't that fucking serious. Well, it's also summer. If there's no, you know, second wave, right? Well, if there's a second wave, it's going to hit the urban areas where they've been protesting. But they've been protesting for what nine or ten days now. No, I think five, it was eight, five or six. No, it was eight days yesterday. No shit. But the real violent shit's been about five or six days. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Go burn down businesses that have been shut down for two fucking months. Way to kick somebody when they're down. You know, uh, fucking idiots. Tar- Target hires police. Did you know that? Tar- Target's police beat people. You know what? Uh, Let's go steal all their shit. There's over there the near fuck? near the near the epicenter of where it all started in Minneapolis. There's only one market that sells food that's still standing, and the National Guard is there. And yeah, and then they want to go shopping when all this shit calms down. Huh? Your place got burned. Well, dude, down. the minute their 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 fucking food stamp cards probably just got filled because it's the beginning of the month, but there's nowhere walking distance to shop. I told, there's one market left open on, in that area. I saw the guy on TV today, a black guy, happy as fuck the National Guard's there. Yeah. Thankful as fuck. Some of the small business might appreciate their places getting yeah. burned down, and some of them might burn them down. No, this guy so said, I wish, their he said, I wish. said, I wish. going to go under anyway. This, this black business owner in the neighborhood he's in, and he said, I wish the National Guard was here every day. Mm. He said this on TV. He wishes the National Guard was here every day. Now, if there was ever a sign from above that if you're a decent, hardworking American, I don't care what color you are, I don't care what nationality you are, if there was ever a sign from above that if you live in a Democrat-run city with Democrat voters, one of these urban hell holes, this is the time to get out. Get out. Well, move, he- move to greener pastures. Come to a state like Florida. We've got a great Republican governor. Some yeah. states that have, you know, blue states with Democrat governors, some of them, their gyms didn't open until uh, the 1st, which is what, day before yesterday? A lot of states just got gyms open on the 1st. I mean, what the fuck are you waiting for? Two fucking months of this shit? Oh, we're, we're just opening essential businesses. I, I well, didn't realize fucking because, McDonald's was essential. Because everybody is in CYA mode. Yeah. You know, God some for- states it's, it, it's legal to get your dog groomed, but barbershops aren't right. open yet. That's how stupid these people are. If you're sick, stay the fuck home. If you have pre-existing conditions, stay home. If you're elderly, stay home. That's how it should have been. Or even if you're just scared, you're just a a nervous Nelly, stay home. Let's shut down the world fucking economy for a goddamn virus. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? 25% unemployment rate. Beautiful. Going to hell in a handbag. 30 million people? Yep. Yeah, and, and then this rioting and looting and shit is just going to set the economy back even There's a even lot of more. undocumented um, unemployment as well, people that work for cash. Oh, yeah. I have a coworker, and we were talking the other day. His, his uncle up in Atlanta, Georgia, died of a heart attack during the height of the whole coronavirus epidemic, and they put on a death certificate coronavirus yeah, because the hospitals are getting extra right. money for that like 35 and he said but you didn't shit. die of coronavirus that, that's what oh. they put in a death certificate because yeah. that's more profitable to the hospital right. you can get run over by a fucking steamroller oh he, he, covid isn't there a sexual thing with poop called a steamroller cleveland steamer it's cleveland steamer yeah <laughs> there's got to be a steamroller
What are your thoughts on all that, Leonard? As little as possible. How could you not think it's, it's the affected, C word it's and the R word? You. Well, it affected me, sure, but it's that's them, not me. I can only control what I control. Unfortunately, my income is being controlled by those. So, your place shut down, or they're just. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was eliminated because. They went cleaning girls in the back instead of security guards. They were told because there's less staff and everybody might be nervous about it. But those people don't care. They were having private parties from what I've heard all over the place. Those swingers want to swing. They want to fuck. They want to drink. <laughs> they want to do their drugs. <laughs> so they just pick somebody's house each week to go to? You know, drinking so doesn't really like, match the swinger lifestyle if you want to have multiple orgasms. Because if I'm lucky enough to get an orgasm, I'm going straight for the fridge and grabbing beer. Well, for the women. There's, there's no going the back for number two. Like, oh, I'm not going to have a beer. I want to try and get a second nut. I'm not in that crowd. That's Brad. It's mainly for the women. <laughs> women no, you're over 40. You don't go for the alcohol. second nut still, do you? Oh, sure. That's stupid. That's stupid to you. You Mr. Fucking Know-It-All. Just because you, you don't like something, <laughs> you're not into something, it's stupid, that's gay, you're stupid. That's no, I've gay. been there. Mr. I've been there going for two, going for three. Been I was there back Mr. in, know it all knows back in the day. Mr. Know-it-all knows how to grow grass and kill half this shit out there, you fucking dipshit. Didn't even start a chainsaw. <laughs> that Mr. was just fucking, fucking <laughs> drunk spilling a seed. Yeah. Please. You spilled en enough. You're here. almost wrong about everything you fucking say. I wouldn't agree with that. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. <laughs> Call you Kia, know it all. It's okay. You definitely know how to drink some beer. I'll give you that. I'm not ready to get thirsty right now. <laughs> Did you bring enough for everyone or are you going to be stingy? I got a couple extra, but not many. <laughs> so, so what's your what's the new plan, Leonard? Well, the, well, you got on the Ruby subject. You're definitely out. Definitely. So you're okay. afraid of Dale. I never had time to put on the mask that I, or to put on the mask you're I needed to. Dale. Well, Dale got a new motorcycle. Did you see it? With his oh, no, record, he did. I'm sure he'll be fine. Yes, he did. <laughs> uh, and I want to get to the bottom line of this. Dale. <laughs> With his driving record, I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> Talk about being a cookie cutter. And he said sent the pictures to Meowman. This is my new toy. I've heard that before, Dale. I'd love to dress up Dale like Evil Knievel and set him up. <laughs> <laughs> More like Super Dave Osborne. Here, yeah, Remember yeah. that? Here come the memes of Dale. <laughs> evil Dale Knievel Dale. Dale like Evil Knievel. Yeah. Getting blown up. Crashing and breaking every bone in his fucking body. <laughs> there you go, Misfits. That's what Big Brad Wolf wants. Did he really, he really got a motorcycle? Yeah. Yeah, Dale got a bike. It's nice. That it looks nice. That's fucking gold right there. All right, don't play it into the microphone, you dipshit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lenny's looking up the motorcycle now. Uh, what? Maybe we can I don't remember. Does it have a, does it have a seat? Does, is it a two-seater or a one-seater? Does it have training wheels on it? <laughs> Big fucking Harley. <laughs> Got a new toy, yeah, buddy. I don't think his oh, dog will no. touch the ground. Jay, Jay, maybe you can maybe you can ride in a little sidecar next to it. Oh my god! Well, the sidecar. It's a nice bike. Yeah, it is. Maybe he can. There's, there's not a second seat. Dale, oh, he why? Can't take you for a ride. That's oh, all I want to know. Why? Back of that? I'm almost positive. No, there's What's not. the point, Dale? Beyond me. I'm sure the traffic's better up there to be riding anyway. Down here is fucking cool. riding. Maybe <laughs> maybe he and McLeod can start a motorcycle gang. Hey, right? <laughs> you you head north out of Charlotte and get into Virginia. Battery those powered bicycles will be a blast. don't count. <laughs> What's that? North of Charlotte, <laughs> when you get into Virginia and you get into the mountains, riding a Harley up there would be a blast. That's beautiful. Like, like where the, he deer hunts, spring, yeah. Yeah. or <laughs> when he doesn't go to a canned hunt. Hey. The, the, the virus hasn't hit his pocket. Good for him. <laughs> there was a fake McCuck today on uh, Joe Pietaro's <laughs> live. Fake 
one. Yeah, fake macaque. Why would somebody fake an Adam Cloud profile? I don't know. Why would they fake anybody's? Well, Just yeah, that's a better questions. question. They're bored. Trolls get bored. It's just water. Yeah, Joe's live was out of control. I, everyone on there today, I think, is on an FBI watch list now. Oh boy, he's terrible. Did he go? Did he go? What live was he from saying? The city? No, he was he in his. his he was in I his. I know. I saw he went to the city yesterday. Oh yeah, he's a madman. Yeah. Fuck, he's crazy. What was he doing? He was playing retired police guy there to help out. Why is that crazy? Dude, you get out of there. You get out of being a New York City cop with a pension. You don't go back. Yeah. That's like tempting fate. Part of him probably misses the action. He, yeah. Then he needs to come to Florida and be an old man. You don't go. He, once you're out of the game. Yeah. 18 forever, right, Leonard? Yeah, quite a few of those retired New York cops are go to the swingers clubs. And ironically enough, look for bulls for their. Blonde wife, or whatever. Oh, yeah. well, a lot of times you get fed up with fucking the same old hag for years. Oh, so you want to watch two watch, big yeah, black that's, guys? Yeah, exactly. Then don't get married. Jesus. Well, if you're done Christ. fucking her, like, say you got your oh, own. Oh yeah, I'm done fucking her. So let me go watch somebody else fuck her. No, I mean you done fucking. Be a her. demented fucking person to enjoy that. I don't give a shit. You're fucking demented. Sometimes you give them to the blacks as punishment. Oh, good fuck. Well, like if she burns dinner. Well, it, yeah, right. Maybe, yeah, if you never plan on fucking her again, I guess. Right. You come home from work and that dinner's not on the table. God damn it. We're going to the swingers club. You're getting gang banged Friday. And then we need some discipline. And then after the bull fucks her, the little schmuck can never satisfy her again because she had the bull dick. Damn, they had five star dinners at the swingers club, which I miss. As soon as I used to go in before work, you know, we'd have prime rib with the sauce, delicious potatoes. Oh, and you, potatoes. Can, you can kiss buffets goodbye with the new normal. Oh, that's there great. There are no more buffets. I was looking forward to going. Oh, okay, no. Great. Oh, no. You won't see a buffet anywhere for a long time. Golden Corral's done. Disgusting, Chinese buffet, Golden Corral. Anywhere. All the places you and I like, Lenny. The only good time to go to the buffet is when it opens. Otherwise, I yeah. used to love the one right by the old you. World Gym, the original one. Yep. Wasn't the best, but, you know, you had the pepper steak, noodles, potatoes, carbs, nope. and protein. Sit there all day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sit there all day. Read newspapers. This is back yep. in the day. It would be the three hours. It would never kick you out. Goodbye. No. Was it like 20 bucks? Less. You, you, not even 10. You used to go to the old Chinese buffet right next to the old world gym. I used yes. to see you with your newspaper reading the sports with section. With that pepper stick. I used yep. to three pounds of beef. This stuff was easy to chew. Yep. Get some rice. Get everything you need. as a buy but you know, kind yep. of fruit, ice cream. It's great. Not even 10 bucks. I'd spend my two days off there. Ice cream is the best bulking agent. Yeah. That's how I used to weigh over 400 pounds consistently for years. I miss that. I wouldn't. I would, I'd rather be thinner and sleep better. So why aren't you? <laughs> I'd rather drink beer and go live from my mom's pool. And drink ice cream. <laughs> hey, you got a new phone, too. I see dipshit. You dropped it in the pool. Oh, yeah, let me night. see the it's new phone. It's still got the sticker on the front because I don't have a screensaver yet. A screen Is this saver? LG? Yeah, LG G7. You mean, yeah, oh, you mean a screen protector. Right. LG? I, have, I don't have a screen protector or a cover right. yet. They didn't have one at the store? It got FedEx to me because I got that from insurance. Oh, LG makes you? good phones. Uh, my insurance claim cost me like 149 or something. For a piece of shit Android? I like Androids. I oh, know. Well, it's whatever you're used to. Well, when I when they first brought computers into my junior high in 1983, when I was in the eighth grade, they had the old IBMs, and then they had the Apple II. And they pretty much, how quickly you adapted to being on them is what computer you got put on. The kids that were a little slow to comprehend what was going on got put on the Apple IIs. So my whole life, I've had the stereotype that Apple is for the stupider people. Stupider is not a word, Jay. <laughs> right, dumber. <laughs> dumber and dumber. There you go. <laughs> no, apples for people that are slow. Drink yet. <laughs> apples for people that are slow. Oh, good God. Here we go. Okay, if, let's say, one of your boomer parents who doesn't know anything about technology wants to get a tablet, wouldn't you say get an iPad? It's easy to pick up. Yeah, that's true. Getting a boomer to do a tablet. An Android can be more of a pain in the ass than an iPad. Always looking for the easy way out, huh? The boomers, they're just morons. 
the, the boomers never even figured out how to program a VCR. If you, you know what I'm saying? Remember the, the it, clock would always be blinking. There, it's you have analog brains in a digital world like yeah. where I work the members I'll see them on their cell phones and you, you have to see the confused look on their face when they're just trying to access the most basic feature on their cell phone they're, oh, 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 and yeah. the finger is going all over the place it's like they're having a panic attack it, it's, it's a miracle that my mom can use a touch screen a miracle I mean, she should be on, like, one of those Beetlejuice phones with the giant buttons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But my mom's all fucked up because I started her Did on she a... she shit you out? No. I, I used my logic when she wanted to get a tablet. Because she, before she had a tablet, she used to have a flip phone. So she didn't know anything. So she wanted to get a tablet, and I used my logic, and I said, you know what? An iPad is going to be easier for her to pick up. So I told her to get get an Apple, go get an iPad. You'll be able to figure that out. And then when she upgraded from her flip phone to a smartphone, she didn't need an iPhone, so she went Droid because they're so much cheaper. So now she knows how to work a Droid on the phone, but she's iPad on ta- as far as using a tablet. The iPad is the same as the phone, though. Not to a same boomer. Same as the iPhone. Not to a boomer. Like, she doesn't understand what... Um, what uh, search engines are she doesn't understand the difference between a search engine and uh, um a um what's like like google chrome what's that called that's a web browser web browser right she doesn't understand the difference between a web browser and a search engine like for her if she wants to look something up if she wants to I'm look a fucking idiot with this shit too if she I'm wants to look something up on her on tablet she, she's like oh i have to go i have to do that through safari and i'm like no you don't she's like well on my tablet it's safari and i'm like i get that but you could use google chrome on your fucking uh, tablet she's like uh, yeah it's whatever you used to Money, have you figured out? I, you, you obviously haven't figured out your phone or camera or anything. Because for you to, for everybody's got to post shit for you. Embarrassing to say, that's true. But I got to start it up this week. I have Listen, to. Listen, all you got to think about, Jason can fucking do it. <laughs> Jason, Jason can fucking Jason's do it. Has you a very can intelligent side. Yeah, but autistics I, are good at right. certain things. I never things. looked at Jason as somebody that was slow. If anything, I would look you at Jason wouldn't. as a con artist. Jason Honestly, could build a yeah, pyramid part, if he could get five bucks out of well. somebody. Jason didn't do it for all those years because I was doing it for him. I actually enjoyed editing all those old gym videos. It was fun. I, I got a kick out of it. And then, you know, I kind of encouraged him to start doing it, and he did. Once he figured it out, he, he got it very quickly. I mean, Windows Movie Maker, you can, a monkey can learn how to use that. It's the easiest thing in the world. Johnny Bravo acts like he works 16-hour days. <laughs> He's you're saying up. a monkey he's could fi- do it? So you're comparing Johnny Bravo to a monkey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 16 hours a day on those nice cars. <laughs> that, what, what does he have? That Shelby Cobra? He's got like he's, six, nice. he's got a 68 Shelby Mustang. Fucking, fucking dream nice. car with a 428. 428 hey, Cobra jet engine. he's not singing, I don't, <laughs> I don't care what he does. <laughs> Finally gave that shit a rest. Does he strum guitar too? I have no idea. I, I'm I, well. You I, play the trumpet. Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, but isn't that creepy? Like you go to a house party and there's like some dude like on acoustic guitar. Don't you want to kill him? <laughs> Why? Because he's gonna get all the pussy and you're not. <laughs> I would never want to do that to get pussy. It's not worth it. It's a lot of work. Learn to get. You don't even want pussy if it. It, it pretty much has to, to beat my door down. <laughs> That's the only time I want pussy is if they come beat my door down and throw themselves on me. That yeah, sucks. I guess I'll fuck you. <laughs> sucks getting old, huh? It's not worth the chase, bro. I get it. You don't think with your dick. You, know, you get laid. You get that. laid. You don't. You know. I could be eating or sleeping or growing. But that's where the or porn, doing a live stream. That's yeah, see, that's, it, that's what I was in. just going to say. You can find the dirtiest, right. filthiest shit on that phone, but you can't upload a, a video or a fucking Instagram post or well, not. No, that's... You, send, you DM me all this shit through Instagram. If you can do that, you can post some shit. We've walked, I've walked you through it a hundred fucking times. And with the cameos, you're, you know how to do the cameos. It's basically yes. the same shit. 
By the way, book cameos, Big Lenny. They're very successful. Yeah. Works out really good. They're successful when you talk about New it. World Nutritionals. Please send me protein. New, New World Nutritionals, who I haven't heard from in months and don't even yeah. know their fucking Are you, are you number. still with them or no? I need to be. I need some protein. Have Jesus you reached out Christ. to them? Have you reached out to them? I couldn't get out. Way to market yourself, big guy. Yeah. Good God, <laughs> if you drop the ball. <laughs> at some point, you got to do shit for yourself, man. Yeah. Lenny's good at fucking shit up. Nah. Fucking up the goddess, that, and he'll send me pictures of her with the middle finger and, sends, in the middle. In the middle, she of the sends night, me those pictures, and that's when you send it. To, in the middle of the night, I get a picture of the goddess with I, the middle finger in front of her. Have face. you seen the goddess at all lately? No, I was going to see her a couple weeks ago, but no, I was barred. Any good stories? Wait, yeah, yeah, you were a good story. Wait, 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 wait. you were barred from seeing her. Well, I was just she wanted me to visit if I'm in the area. I was coming to say hi. Well, what happened? What happened? Well, you want to elaborate on that little Broward Boulevard? No, <laughs> fucking, you don't. Not. You don't want to talk about that. Come on, you've never. Jesus, that's got to be bad if he doesn't want to talk. Oh, do you know this? Do you oh, know yeah, what he's he talking call, about? He called me about six fucking times. He, he said, "If I call you again, just don't answer. Just don't answer." <laughs> Is this when the guy hit you with the baseball bat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at his face. I've never seen Lenny Wait. look like that. You yeah. don't have a job, you know. Yeah. More free time, but. You know, I'm studying different subjects online. You know, what's your favorite? Just history, philosophy, Nazism. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a book actually. I want to plug his channel right now. He's done a good interviews. Leo with Leo and Longevity series. Yeah, you've been sending me those. Yeah, it's interviews. one of the best best kept secrets of YouTube. It's very technical, but the more you go over it, the more you understand it. He gives vital information. You're not going to hear it anybody else. They had Meow Man on there. Well, what, what is with Because well. the, the clips you sent me were on YouTube, but they were just five minutes, and it seemed like there was more of an inner... Do you have to go to his website to watch the yeah, full Leo video? Yeah, Leo and Longevity. I highly the recommend website. everybody check okay. it out. Yeah. They had Boston Lloyd on there, Tony Huge. So the, the YouTube clips are just to get you over to the website, basically. Yeah. Okay. They probably have Scott Mendelson on, who... I don't know if you guys saw him with a shotgun outside of his gym in Santa Barbara, I believe. No. Yeah, standing outside. They did an interview. Though actually, the news did. You know, he's standing outside, he's 350 pounds with his shotgun and his gym staff. And they saw people with masks looking and just going the other way. This was when? The last couple of days? Yeah. Okay. All right. You got to protect your business. He should have had the strength cartel come out and help him. He's buddies with them. <laughs> Is that yeah. near where they are? I no. So. Yeah, they're, they're LA, neighbors. Something like that. I want that Mendelssohn video where he teaches that that big dude from the strength cartel how to bench Scott Mendelssohn style is a great bench press video. Mendelssohn's got a crazy technique for benching. Can we go into detail? I I don't want to hack it up. Is it on you? It's on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you get, send me that video. His Anadrol. It's, it's it. What's that guy's name from strength cartel? He's the big, know. big dude. Big boy. I don't big know. boy. Is it big boy? I thought names. big boy sounds familiar. It's the big, big, big Spanish dude. He actually can do chin ups. I'm impressed. And uh, Scott Mendelson, and they they do a bench workout, and Scott describes his technique. It's it's, it's very unique the way he talks about c pulling in the shoulder blades and the, using your feet to push. And his Anadrol usage. Been that. Scott it, it has taken, take and he confirmed that he's taken twenty Anadrol a day, but a day. That's not that's a day. That's retarded though. That doesn't even do anything. How many milligrams? Fifties. Fifty yes, mil twenty that. so that's yes. That's two grams. Milligrams a day? Yeah, that'd be a gram. Twenty five hundred. That'd be a gram. Twenty five hundred. No, that's fifty or twenty yeah. Yeah, you're right. Be a gram. Oh gotcha. That's stupid. Anything over anything over four hundred milligrams it, is 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 fucking toxic. <sighs> And he's doing a gram. Everything's he's stupid. done it. Anything over Tyrannobol, Tren, Ball, Trend, Test, Super Draw, and Hurricane is smart. Yeah, but I'm not doing. <laughs> I'm not do. I don't like. I've never done more than 200 migs of orals a day. He's doing a gram. That's just. They say anything over 400 is just toxic as fuck. Your body can't even absorb all that, right? No. Most of that is getting it's turned into weight. fucking estrogen and growing titties for you. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, You when you take that much gear, you're just asking to get fat and grow titties. 
<laughs> it, it doesn't work. Um, by the way, I see that the IFBB NPC released a statement on Floyd George showing the condolences and sympathies. Now, Big Steve, you, you listening to me? Oh, no. What does he have to do with bodybuilding? Why don't you go out there and say that? They got to protect their company and their brand. What's he got to do with bodybuilding? Everybody's got to have Steve? something to say. If you don't say anything, then you're part of the problem. The only thing developed on Lloyd Flo- Floyd George is his big lips. Oh, oh God. Maybe God. we get his lip training Jesus routine. That's oh, about it. Geez. Jesus Christ. You know, even the, is it the reigning Mr. Olympia, oh, is, it, is that Brandon Curry? Or is Brandon Curry the one before the reigning guy? Who the hell knows? Something I don't know, like but that, one yeah. of the most recent Mr. Olympias, one of the two little midgets that just won it, <laughs> it, it, had to make his fucking statement about the George Floyd deal. Who cares what Mr. Olympia has to say about George Floyd? What makes George Floyd special, more special than anybody else who was killed by a police officer in this country, particularly probably the six or seven white guys that were killed unnecessarily in the past week that nobody knows or hears about? That's the problem with them making it a black-white issue. It's not about that. It's well, police that's them. brutality. Exactly. That's them. They, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Most violent crimes happen in poor neighborhoods, right? Who tends to live there? So just by chance, about, they're more likely to get in bad disputes involving the police. It's nothing. It's not because they're black. It's because they're there. I agree. If you lived where they live, your chances of being in killed by the police go way up i admit white. they're singled out when i was taking melanotan and people thought i was black i was pulled over four times asking why am i what am i doing when i'm driving it from work i don't care if you're purple where these things are happening if you live there you're more likely to die at the hands of a cop yeah so it's just unfortunate for them they're born into that family but the, or that area but the statistic is cops are eight ten times more likely to be killed by a black man than the other way around. Well, that's because of where the crimes happen. 18 times the cops to be, the cop to be killed. How many the cops white have, cop. How many cops have died in the last few days since the rioting and shit started? People aren't shooting cops out their window couple black cops in, in the shot. rich, pussy-ass yeah. neighborhoods. Did they get killed or just shot? A couple black cops got shot and killed. Yeah, there have been a couple Better. cops shot in the past week. It was Las Vegas. I think a retired yeah. captain got shot and killed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was out guarding a store. Retired. He'd lost a step. But it's just hypocrisy. You're a fucking Again, hypocrite. I don't blame the blacks. It's the white cookie cutter of cowards course. from day one. Of course. Way back in the day, you could start with the Kennedys. You could start with the suffragists that the northerners that were against slavery. It was indentured servitude. And it wasn't a bad lifestyle compared to what they had over another continent. Right, they had it made, right, Lenny? To an extent, yes, they did. I don't think they got lunch. I think they got a real good breakfast and a good dinner. They worked well, out in the fields all day. They, they in the vitamin D where they get that size. That ain't a breeding. Oh, Jesus they went to a breeding cramp. Yeah, by the way, yeah, you had to stay inside. For I the, wish I could go back in time and and be a slave. See some of those six foot thick black women, eighteen years old, thick as a brick. Uh, hey, breed yes, with you her. would. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, you would. Blacks weren't that big when we plucked them out of Africa. That's true. Oh, fuck you. They had to think. That's true. They were they more had average f- sized compared to the black. They didn't the have blacks. The Everybody's bigger now, though. Because of nutrition. Right. Once they started that, opening McDonald's in China, that's when people grew. Well, on the it's sp- because of the protein. Oh, that's why the they didn't close McDonald's during this whole coronavirus. Yeah. Perfect. Well, you can call it junk food, <laughs> now but that, that is. Now it all, it's all starting to make fucking sense. All, in all those Guatemalans, there's a certain nutrient or protein deficiency a lot of the third world countries have. That's why they're short. And that's why there are a lot of, uh, you know, look at short Italians and Jews that are still short in this country. There was a lot of starvation over there. And the Jews were persecuted in France, England, parts of Germany, but especially three, four hundred years ago. Yeah. And Russia. Russia. Absolutely in Russia under the czars. So they didn't have the kind of nutrition to grow taller. But you need the essential fats and the protein. That's why kids are so big. Now you see the young kids. Now there's some tall, big kids, especially women. Huge. No oh, shit. You saw that Big kid. Ones. You saw that kid that came over with my son to train. Yeah. What was he, fucking 6'5? Right. 18 years old. Yes, because thank God for the nutrition, the agricultural system. What about growth of- hormone that's in the chickens and the milk? I don't think it does anything significant. I don't think it's harmful. I think it's just a selling Cause point. Because chickens, chickens that we eat now, um, I, I don't know the exact weeks. Chickens used to be like. 
I don't know. I'll just throw a figure out there. Nine weeks old yeah. when they were slaughtered. Now they're seven weeks old. Because they're pumped with so many chemicals to make them get big. Early. I think antibiotics, but and so if you guys had Kentucky Fried Chicken in a while, no, I had friends. If, if you if you eat that, that real good, cheap, yeah. that yeah, real right cheap the chicken, street, that's like they have spot. a Kentucky Fried Chicken, the bones aren't even fully developed because those chickens are so young and just pumped full of hormones to get big. You know, my Haitian ex, not my wife, but the other one, she used to eat the. Bones, chicken bones. I swear to God, she'd have a leg and she'd eat the bones. Where the bones? She ate them. It's like what? Like a dog? Yeah. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Of here. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> she would break them down in her mouth. Yeah. How are her teeth? Fine. Yeah. Huh. So how do you like that cannibalism from Haiti video? That was see? disgusting. Did you? Did you that, send why that was that was from Haiti. Did he? What you, you sent me? Haiti. Yeah. All of it. Yeah, Holy it. shit. Was it a religious thing? No, it was just the rival gang or whatever. What, are the, what is that gang called Hacked down there, Andrew? Isn't it? A, it's some weird name. The gang, that big. Put gang them in down. a pot. It's like they knew what they were doing. It's disgusting. Well, the I know in in Miami. No, you didn't see that. I sent. You. Oh my god. They're I called. Sure I sent you that. It's called Zoe Pound I think you in saw Miami. Zoes. I this didn't open it, it up if it said cannibal. They were smoking joints between the toes of of a foot, a leg. That yeah, they an amputated off. foot that they cut off and an arm. It, that shit was. It's first, I thought it was the face was fake. The first I thought it was fake, but then I saw the... No, that's real. That's 100% real. Yes. The whole oh, yeah. thing was real. Yeah, that was yeah. fucking... I, I, I regret, I'm not watching. I Hold on. Watching. Well, it's an Instagram channel. I'll, I'll say it right now. Let me find it. You f- look up on yours. I'm getting thirsty. Go grab some beers. I'll have one with you. Fuck. Hang on. Are you allowed? You can't drink alone. <laughs> I can do whatever I want, Jay. <laughs> then spend the night. Let's go out. Huh? I don't want to do that. Let's all go to my I gotta work tomorrow. bar with all this... Oh yeah, you got a tiki bar, you new place. Dude, we don't, Did you tell don't, everybody that you're moving, that you moved to Royal Palm on your live? Hey, edit no, that I out. Where, do a live. Ed, Andrew, oh. edit that out where Lenny says he has a tiki bar because that'll give it away. Where it's just okay. they won't. There's no, tiki bars everywhere down. You're in no, South Florida, sorry. Jay. What the fuck is the matter with you? Okay. Oh Jesus Christ! You ask anybody that lives <laughs> in Delaware. Del- Lenny doesn't give a shit. Lenny would love to have visitors come over. He doesn't give a shit. I guess I don't want people knocking on my hotel room door. Sure you do. Yeah, I sleep good over there. There's no misfit fans, chicks that are hot. So, so you're in the hotel room for a month now, right? To the Until end of the June? 26th. Okay. What's your plan after? Do you have one? No. Uh, no. Not sure yet, but <laughs> definitely you going to. Talk about last fucking minute. Well, Jesus what happened? Oh, I forgot to tell what happened. Aladdin found a place in Royal Palm. I guess took care of that financially, first, last, security. And the pictures I seen were really nice. But when I got there, it was a house. It was strange. Knocked on the door. Woman answered the door. She had a halter top and short. She had red sores all over her body. It looked like Carposi sarcoma that people with AIDS get. <laughs> and she's like, come on in. And I came in. The house was about 85 degrees. If you could just smell the mold. And, the, and I'm looking around. And she's you're not like, used to that anymore. She's Six like, months. Yeah. She's like, your room is here. I'm thinking, this isn't the picture that you showed me. And then she's like, and my room is here. I'm like, what? Because Aladdin said it's a one, it's you know, it's a one unit condo. And I'm looking at it, goes, me and you can share the bathroom. And I'm looking at them. Is this a white girl? Yes. And I says, I didn't say anything. Then she says, "The oh, kitchen." Oh, if, if it was a if it was a big black body, girl, he would have moved in with fuck her. Fuck yes, he would <laughs> in a fucking heartbeat. Ben, you're right. <laughs> <I> know, <man. laughs> but they say you're or a big hit. Yeah, it wasn't the sores on her body. It was because she was white. Right. Well, no, it was. Uh, but. If it was a big Haitian six foot, oh, I'd be in there. Excuse the cooks, old fashioned. They couldn't speak English. You wouldn't mind sharing a bathroom with that, right? I'd be her toilet. <laughs> they don't even need sandals to run through a thorny forest. The bottoms of their feet are like that. Oh, thin. did you hear about that? <laughs> why you know what I'm talking about? Why Southerners are so See slow? See those Haitian women at the market. And the padding on their bottom of their feet, it's like an inch. I still see them walking down the street with fucking baskets on their goddamn head. They got Did great you know fucking that, strong neck muscles, You know why man. Southerners talk slow and people think they're stupid? It's from walking around barefoot. I don't know if you guys heard this. I just read it recently on the internet. There's a certain the worm doesn't lie. that uh, bites you and lays eggs into your feet. 
from walking barefoot and it gets into the brain. And that's why Southerners are, you know, like Dale. How y'all <laughs> doing? They're leth- it gives you horrible lethargy. And that's why they talk like that. That's why they, what that's from. Wa- walking around barefoot and having this, because of the humidity, this worm lay eggs, bite their feet, and lay eggs into them. So all Check of them. Out. So anybody that has a southern draws. Well, that talks real slow. Do you and know what? Real slow. Do you know what the name of this particular worm is? Just on the tip of my tongue. Let me. Look, I gotta look it up because yeah. you know we call Nate Pinworm Nate. We can yeah, call this certain, Nate. We can call Dale. It. But I was shocked, and that makes a lot of sense. It gets into your. That brain. makes no hang fucking on. sense. Yes, it does. Okay. All right. Hang it on. Gets hang into on. Your brain. Shocking. So they all talk, but the other ones that talk like that. So that you're telling me everybody with a southern drawl has gotten these no. this worm well, there's infection. Reason. There's a reason for that. You know what I've. See. What is that? That's, That's the, the foot? foot. I don't want to see that. You don't. What is it? Smoking joints for the. Yeah, everyone. The the Instagram page is called Gore Explanation, just like it says. Watch the old Haitian lady scared to death walking by. G O R E Explanation. It's kind of like the they YNC. They up a rival gang member? Yeah, many. They had him in wheelbarrows. They show him chopping a fucking guy's leg off yeah. in a wheelbarrow. Look at the face. I thought that was fake. At That's hard to face. tell what that is. It almost looks like a monkey. That's a face. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, now I see yeah. it. They cut his nose off. Yeah. Soil transmitted parasites? Is that what you're talking about, Lenny? Well, there's a certain name for it. Turn that shit off. Lenny. He can't. He, he is not. He still doesn't know how to work his phone. He just he's slams his fat it. fingers against well, here's it. Here's the hacking part. Of I don't want to see that. Lenny. Stop. I don't want to see that. No, I was. Blame yeah, I was not in the right frame of mind after I watched that for a few minutes. You have to see it, though. It's very disturbing. Man. But you don't have to see. That's that. why you should never wa- walk around without shoes on, which I don't. Or go to Haiti. Hookworms. Yeah. Is that it? Yes. Hookworms? You yes. couldn't remember okay. hookworm? So, hookworm Dale. Don't dog gets, dogs get hookworm, don't they? Yeah. In their intestines? Sure. I can't remember hookworm. Excuse me. Hookworm Dale. <laughs> hookworm Dale. <laughs> Going for a ride on my motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, they, they start getting real lethargic. Cornelius and I are going court. <laughs> Cornelius. Hookworm, pinworm. It's all kind of parasites out there. Got to watch. I don't. I can't. <laughs> But it gets into your brain uh, and it fucks you up. You become a dumb redneck. Yes. That's why a lot of them are like that. It's just the area where they live where they get that accent. No, it's more too And the heat. They're never in a hurry to do anything. Well, that's what they were saying. They were thinking <laughs> of the heat, but, you know, they still talk like this. You got air conditioning. What are you talking about? You're a, you're the, what? You're a true Florida cracker. You know that? Even though you're from Michigan, I look at you as a Florida cracker. Because I'm just... Because you think a pool is a fucking bath. <laughs> Dipping a pool is a bath. <laughs> right, or a pond. Yeah. <laughs> the beach. You don't brush your teeth daily. I brushed my teeth last night. <laughs> you know, Roy made a good point. Remember Roy, the retired cop from New York? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He said, those whatever wouldn't be here if it wasn't those, those lazy Southerners didn't want to do any freaking work bringing them over here. Because they wouldn't have got here in the first place. Think of that. I said, yeah, you're right. That's why Hitler didn't invade America. Mm-hmm. Hitler said he didn't want to inherit America's Negro problem. Yes, but said he said it would bankrupt the fatherland. But he also thought we'd have enough sense, and we would have if you didn't have a democratic commie in there like Roosevelt. We would have, if we had like somebody like a Herbert Hoover in there, we would have maybe aligned with him, and England would align with him. Eisenhower and took out the, yeah, took out the Russians. Eisenhower was a good Republican. Yes, but it was a little too late. Eisenhower was a good Republican before the party turned into what it is now. There's not even two parties anymore. It's all one party. Pretty much. They Unless you're an outsider like stuff. Trump or they Bernie Sanders. did stuff. not want to align himself with the Japanese. Matter of fact, when Japan invaded China, and you heard the story of the rape of Nanjing, where they came in and basically slaughtered all these Chinese, they'd have the mother come out, make them fuck the kids, and grandmother right in front of the floor of their house and burn it down. Hitler was going to send troops in to stop them because they signed some pact. He didn't want to be friends with the Japanese. My, my comp was anti-communism, so we're on the wrong side of the thing in there. A lot of people, historians, say that to this day. 
What do you think is going to happen with all this shit? Two things. It's going to get much worse, or it's going to be stopped. I think Antifa's fucked. The last thing you want to be is on the wrong side of the government. Look at what the what the FBI can do. Like when they when they want to do go after like white supremacist groups, you're fucked. Anytime they they pick a target, you're fucked. They just made a bad situation worse. No, dude. Th- they're going to hack all those emails to those Antifa people, and they're going to be executing warrants on those motherfuckers if they staged any of this. They should have done that before they got the white You're, supremacists. The white supremacists could have been an ally. No. Used correctly. Oh, we, yeah. We don't need the fucking neo-Nazis yes, on we our do. side. Oh. You know, just, just whatever their name is, what their cause is is completely different. They're I, for secure borders. It, See, people get caught up with the names that they call themselves neo-Nazis and swastikas. If they want to do that, that's stupid because that's just a symbol. But for what they believe in is, you know, smaller government, more freedom, closing the borders, just like Tony Huge said on that Leo and Longevity. He said in Thailand, there's a story about an American who got busted a lot of steroids, but that wasn't the problem. He was working without a work permit. Thailand is a nationalistic country. They don't want people coming over and taking Thai jobs. And over here, it's like people think it's okay. We've been stepped on for years. That's the problem. Yeah, but we don't want neo-Nazis on our side. People that call themselves that, yes. But if I'm at a Trump rally and someone pulls out a fucking Nazi battle flag, I'm going to I'm going to say, bro, if you want to stay, you got to take that down. True. I agree with you. And and I'd have plenty of people backing me up. Bro, if you want to stay, you need to take that down. But what their main beliefs in are what we should have been doing a long time ago. Securing the borders. Putting Americans first, which they don't. But there is nothing American about Nazis. I mean, we fought a fucking war to stop it. So I don't want some asshole making my side look wrong by flying a fucking battle flag, Nazi battle flag. Well, we stopped the wrong person because did they invade the United States? No. Hitler did not have because a problem with the United States. Because we have a huge States. fucking ocean separating us. They could have. Right. They, they could have. They had uh, U-boats, different kind of subs, but they didn't. They thought we would align with them. But Roosevelt wasn't having that. He's a commie. No, you know, you know the famous quote from Admiral Yamamoto, right? Yes, because of the guns in America. It's yeah, very said, tough to said take it we, over. we can never invade America because there'll be a rifle behind every blade of grass. Well, there will be soon now, too. Yeah. These... these Black Lives Matter people, they're not going anywhere where they can lose. They don't go to biker bars. They don't go to fucking redneck country western concerts. They're not going anywhere where people are going to stand up to them. Where do, where are they standing up to them? And, and they're not. You know, they Nobody's made those they made those threats that they were going to take it to the suburbs. Dude, all those dorky white people got a gun. You get a mob of black people walking down a suburban street, there's going to be guns pointed out of it's every window. It's not the blacks. It's the white communists with the skateboards. They're, they're the ones that are orchestrating it and funding it. Yeah. I see that. And then they hide. They, Dropping bri- they, loads they, of bricks off. They want all the, the they want the blacks to get blamed for everything. Well, there was a video. I don't know if you saw it. It was, um, it was a, a white chick spray painting BLM on a wall. And this black girl is filming her with her cell phone. She goes, what the hell are you doing? We're going to get blamed for that. And the, the white yeah. girl just ran off after she spray paints BLM on the wall. Yeah. And then she To prob- go to your point, and Lenny. And she probably went and joined and put her fist in the air with, you know, the black power, black panther. It's like a black guy going to a Ku Klux Klan rally. Why, do you, why does everything got to be made? And everything has to become race. It's always it's it's because, always got to be black versus white because they want to hyper polarize the country. Yeah, it's just it's all they want to make us all extremely one way or another, so we're not tolerant of the other side at all. Well, That's also, why you see these posts on yeah. Instagram because they want to oh, real quick to say, "Oh, I'm going to post this be- so you won't think that I'm racist." Because if you don't, if you don't, then you are racist. Yeah. Like, well, that's what Charles. That's Benson. why I went against the grain and did the P- Blue Lives Matter, which you're not allowed to have an opinion. But you, because you posted that, then that means you that's don't support. That's why I put trans lives matter. A joke, you know. 
about, Facebook took down some All Lives Matter posts. That's ridiculous. I know. Why would you do that? All why can't, matter, why can't you say All Lives Matter? It's kind of a smart-ass remark, though. Imagine if, it? If, if you were at the hospital celebrating the birth of one of your children, and you said, oh, this is the most beautiful baby in the world, and the guy next to you said, yeah, buddy, All Lives Matter. All babies are beautiful. Yeah, all babies are beautiful. It's like a smart-ass remark is what it is. Uh, I kind of understand. I get what you're saying, but it's not. When you say all lives matter, you're not really genuine. No, but the it's problem a, is, is when you insert. You know what I mean? I get it. If I, I get, say I all lives it. matter, I'm being but, a complete smart ass. But I don't think you are. No, but, but then. In, <laughs> the, and they're just showing your care for, for humanity, showing that like me, I'm colorblind. You know, I'll use names You prefer here and there. black women. That does nothing to do with it. How do you know? How do you know I don't prefer men with like you, you with postal say? shorts and a beard? <laughs> How do you know? Yeah, That's what you... We just talked about the we just talked about the woman's house that you went to. If it was a black woman, you would have stayed there. Since she was a fucking crusty old white woman, you said no. Yeah, it was a big, thick black woman. Right. 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 And Jemima, yeah. he'd he'd be all over it. The pro- yeah. it, it's okay with the they want to say okay, black lives matter, sure. So do white lives, brown lives, whatever. But when you start saying black lives matter. You're you're taking attention off the real problem, which is the police fucking brutality that happens to whoa, every whoa, goddamn whoa. race. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Incorrect police procedures. Okay, it re- but no it happens disproportionately to the black community because they live where all the crimes are. Not always. There's blacks in suburbs. Not yeah, but they're not fucking gangsters. They don't, they don't cooperate. For instance, what when Aladdin, you're yeah, like you cooperate? Aladdin showed me. What he does, if he ever gets pulled over, you know, he's nothing, nothing for anything serious. Stops the car, turns it off. He puts the keys slowly on the roof. Then he puts his two hands out the, the window top, on the top steering wheel and sits there calmly, very relaxed. And the officer says hi, and he answers him, you know, very distinctly. And if he says, "Can I get?" I see somebody, he says, yes, I'm going to reach to the right and grab it. But turning the keys off and putting them on top of the car puts the officer at ease. I don't 99, do all that moving around. Well, I not, put my hands on the steering wheel and don't do shit. That's do good. Do as instructed. Yeah, that's right. it. So he can see your hands. But those black people do it in all these cases. Like attorney Benjamin Crump, I saw him today rattling off a list of 40 names, all black, they were shot and killed in the past, whatever, or killed some way or another. 90%, 95% of one of those cases, that person did not do the right thing, did not do that, did not cooperate, did not put the officer at ease. Most of them resisted. I would say close to 90% resisted. And then it escalates. Or mouthed off to them. You know, when you get pulled over in an 18-wheeler, those fucking cops fucking climb right up those steps and pick, stick their head in to see what the fuck's going on in there. They don't want any surprises. Just think of us, Andrew, would you want to pull somebody over in the middle of the night not knowing what the hell's going on? That's, the, that, that's part of the problem what's happening now is these cops are going to get you know their power stripped of them and nobody's going to want to be a fucking cop. They it's will. a thankless right. It's a thankless fucking job. Well, they, they got plenty. It's turned into a thankless fucking job. Well, you know, you got a lot of bad characters that want to do it because it picked on their life. They, they, a lot of them do that. Right. Try to get back at the system. A lot of you know, dogs. they need hey, to get... I know cops that say if they pull... It, when they pull somebody over, if you give them any shit, they're going to find shit. They're going to find tickets to write you. And they you. can. When you start being disrespectful right off the bat, well, why the fuck did you pull me over, man? I wasn't doing shit. When I know? did, when I did overdose on G shit, or whatever in that video with the cops, I was so out of it, I didn't know they were cops. That's why... I, I had no idea. I didn't recognize him as that. I was so messed up. But normally, no, I don't say as little as I have to. They normally don't pick on innocent people. And you know what? Next, why don't these black people or whoever think of that next? They might get shot next time. You don't want to comply. Think of that. Think of that next time you want to go out and commit a crime. Well, you got a warrant. Think of that, pal. You know if, what's if what can I'm, happen? If well, I know they're watching these kids in the street. Sense. They're watching these kids in the streets now, running up to cops yeah. and throwing bricks at them, spitting in their face, calling them fucking pigs. Yeah, unbelievable. Burning their goddamn cars. And who who's going to pay for all these cars and and shit they're ruining? All the fucking taxpayers. These lawyers all on the internet making these things. Anybody arrested in this? Let me know. I'll give you pro bono. That little whore, Alyssa Milano, wants. Wants to pay legal bills for people. 
Well, you know, Mayor de Blasio in New York. Order, order 66, yeah. Alyssa yeah, Milano. He, he instructed <laughs> the police department up there, use Maniacs, a Maniacs, lot- go after Alyssa Milano with you shut up? He's trying to talk. <laughs> all means necessary. Go ahead. Mayor de Blasio. What happened? I want to no, hear it. No, it's all good. Keep talking. We don't order 66 people. It's stupid. You're like Alyssa a Alyssa Milano, we shit. do. You cause a lot of problems with that crap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, what's that hurt anybody? It's a shit stir. Same as calling people the R words. Bullshit. No. If you take it seriously, you say like somebody call me the F word. So what? Faggot or fat? Whatever, both. <laughs> <laughs> Those are two bad ones, you fat faggot, if you use both. But that was a message I was always trying to convey, that names don't hurt anybody. Show some respect. I mean, why would you fight a cop? You, like Trump said, he, once you start looting, here comes the shooting. Makes sense. That was said before by the uh, mayor of Miami in 1968, when they started that shit in Miami. Weren't they protesting the Republican National Convention? I think that was in Chicago in sixty, but I don't know what happened oh. in Miami. I think the police brutality... Oh. And then the the police, the chief of police, rather said that Florida police have a have a reputation in the black community. I think as being a little trigger happy. They don't. Well, they well, don't. Florida people don't necessarily riot when the rest of the country is rioting. Let's look up all the no shit. That's because we have conceal, conceal and carry laws uh, down here, and the average person can can shoot someone in the head. Anyone walking down a street in Florida can be carrying a gun. So you're not going to riot or loot or burn did, down stores. Did we have riots during the Trayvon Martin thing? I don't remember. And that was right here in Florida. That was in what, Sanford? Was there riots when we had to send Elian Gonzalez back to Cuba? Yeah. There was? Yeah. What's going to happen if this cop gets acquitted? It's always a possibility. Put him in the yeah, because they. It's, oh, it's be how are they going to prove second degree murder? How do you know his intent? I, are you I, a brain read? Are you a mind reader? I think they're hoping that by increasing the charges, he yeah. pleads to third. Right, right. You know, right. right. They're going to try to force his hand. Okay, he's just going to cop a plea to third and degree. They're trying to get everybody to stop this. Shit. That way, we don't even need a trial. There's no chance of him being uh, I exonerated. See they overcharge him, trying to get him to sit plea bargain down to third. Exactly. No chance of a trial, no chance of him getting exonerated. If he gets if he gets off, which he won't, there would just be even worse fucking riots. Oh. And I think if he no, commits, no, 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 e- no, even if no. he commits suicide. No, that's not an option. You have to dominate the situation. Very easily, those <laughs> cops, they'll put the fear of God into you. That's what stopped the L.A. riots. They allowed that shit to go on a little bit. And then when they brought the National Guard, they said enough. And all those tough Yeah, the members. National Guard but, doesn't use rubber bullets. But the riots, in, the riots in L.A. were only because the cops all got acquitted. You right. know? Like, this has there, was no, there was no rioting. This mic is fucked up, I think. There was no rioting after it happened. It was only after the cops got acquitted. Right. Well, those groups are a modern-day lynch mob who don't take justice and the judicial process into account. They threaten and demand and... What I don't want what I don't want to see is somebody being charged because this mob or there's gonna be more rights. No, that's like negotiating with uh, people that take hostages. There's a no negotiation policy. And that's what needs to be done here. And it's not worried about if they're gonna riot, you put a stop to it. No ifs, ands, or buts where it's gonna be impossible to riot. Not according to Bill de Blasio. What I was gonna say before is that he instructed the NYPD to <laughs> use a light touch. Yeah. Those were his exact words. Real use smart. a light touch. Real yeah. smart. So if you're a cop and you're getting a brick thrown at you, wait, my boss just told me to use a light touch. So Yeah, like Mayor David Dinkins back in the day did the same thing at the police. Yeah, the, the Crown Heights yeah. the Crown Heights riots. Don't embarrass what are you looking for? the city. To open a door? Right there is a button. Just push it in. How Mr. Those, Mr. Fucking the big, the big Mr. one. Mr. Know it all doesn't know how to open a fucking garage door. Here how those again. people get elected? There are three office. buttons, Jay. Well, that's that's another thing that they're calling for. Get out and fucking vote if you don't like who's in in office, who's in those positions. You're gonna piss your pants. Is that why you're going outside to piss? But when people and property are being like threatened, they need to be stopped. Oh, absolutely. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Oh, I know his breath is disgusting. Well, he brushed his teeth yesterday, like he said. Fuck no, I don't want to stay anywhere near him. He's a big fucking baby. 
He brought some good points to the table. I learned. Well, of course. Well, Jay, you know, he's always good for that. He's just a buffoon. Are the maniacs hearing this? What? Oh yeah, we're not. Uh, li- we're not live. Well, you right guys now. are getting a real treat behind the scenes <laughs> things. <laughs> Jay don't listen to the podcast anywhere. I don't no. think Brad gives a fuck anyway, does he? What? <laughs> Talk about Jay's back. I don't think you give a shit. I say right to his face. I don't care. <laughs> I'm honest with all you guys. I don't yeah. give a shit. That's why I like you guys, because I can be honest with you and you don't get fucking butthurt or cr- Oh, my God. I'm so sensitive. <laughs> How dare you speak to me this that way? I can't be around people like that. If you're all, all oversensitive, go fuck off. Now it's a party. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Category five. Jesus Christ. You're such a bad influence, Jay. Andrew, you haven't been shopping. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to stay out of the store. You know, that was another thing. They, that's right. They close everything, but you can pack a Publix or you can pack a Walmart, and that's all right. Speaking of Publix, Lenny, what do you, <laughs> what do you think of them um, designating one way for each aisle? Have you been there since they've done that now? Yes, I... The, the first time I went to a Publix during this whole quarantine thing, when all this shit started, I got I got yelled at by an old lady because I, I, I didn't realize they had taped arrows in each aisle one way. She goes, you're going the wrong way. I go, are you talking to me? What are you talking about? She goes, look. And then she points to the arrows on the ground like I'm going the wrong way on I-95 or something. She'd be like, yeah, you're going the wrong way. The graveyard's over there, you old twat. <laughs> I'm fucking old bitch. If somebody puts that on the ground, you fall I, with it. I couldn't believe my eyes. I'm like, really? about a cookie cutter. I'll never forget. You know, we get the snowstorms up in Pennsylvania when I was a kid. And we had a driveway in with neighbors. And somebody put a picture next to a big bag of rock salt. Put it in front of my our front door. It says, use this. So my father opens the door to go to work, sees this bag sitting there, and a sign that says, use this. He's like, who the hell is this pe- person telling me what to do? So he grabbed a bag of rock salt, flung it, almost put it right through their picture window, their, their front porch, threw it right at their house. Don't tell me to use this. You're supposed to shovel your sidewalk. Well, at, at LA Fitness now, they have the arrows on the floor too, designating which way to go through the machines Get the and fuck stuff. Out of here. Yeah, and Boca, oh, absolutely. You went? I missed sheep. you the other morning. You I should have it. Well, 2020, the year of the fucking sheep. I should start putting arrows with tape up to my dick. <laughs> Say, follow the arrow. <laughs> These fucking cookie cutters. Like, can't even fucking walk. You have to be told how to where to walk yeah, nowadays. Yes, yes. Like exactly. herd it up like sheep. It's That's the right. new normal, Lenny. Yeah, well, the go, new normal. Hey, normal. Get used to it, yeah. folks. Yeah. If they are, if they ever come up with a vaccine, they're gonna have vaccine shaming. Where if, if you're not vaccinated, you're gonna get the riot act from a liberal. Like, how can you do this? You're putting your our you're grandmothers putting, yeah, and, yeah. at yeah. risk. Well, vaccine shaming. Didn't, didn't, uh, doesn't Bill Gates already have the patent on this no. new vaccine? Isn't that good did beer? I hear, did I hear that? Yeah, Bill Gates beer. Like it. vaccinated people in Indian Africa against their will, and there's a lot of deaths. There's a, there's a scandal. That Vaccines are loaded with heavy metals. They're not good for you. Well, something says in the Bible. The, the, well, you, got, you got vaccinated when you were a baby. Yeah, right? but mm-hmm. polio and, 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 the, and measles was a different thing. Right. Different era. MMR, measles, mumps, rubella. Right. Smallpox. You can't help but think in the book you know, of Revelation. Did, you know, smallpox was almost wiped off the face of the earth, and I think it came back in Africa or fucking China. Of all the, That's where everything shitty comes from. And it's not even racist. It's true. It wouldn't be surprise me those countries are doing that to their own people. Well. Because they have rules, used to have rules for, you know, birth for a certain amount of it's girls. It's a little shady that this virus, China has a population problem. And this virus kills the elderly, but does not seem to affect children. It's a little shady. Yeah. I don't have any proof, but if you were going to create a virus to kill off your elderly population that are no longer contributing, but only taking, this would be a good one. Yeah, especially in this co- country to kill off the baby boomers. Is there something to You know, I, 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 we do need to get rid of our baby boomers, man. Yeah, because you owe mommy's money. <laughs> right. Baby boomers in the United States alone are holding about $3 trillion worth of real estate. So as the boomers start to die, that's $3 trillion that's going to be put into our economy. 
What year does Baby Boomers start? Was that 45? Post-World War II, when the GIs came home. Night, people born in 45 till about 1960. I've seen some people try and stretch it to 65, but that's not accurate. But they're inheriting their money from their parents. Absolutely. A lot of old money. Right. We, we saw that in the country clubs working there. Mm-hmm. A lot of old money. Most boomers were hippies in the 60s, and they inherited their parents' money. And getting back to the vaccination, you look at the Bible. In Revelation, it says, in the end times, that those won't be able to buy or sell unless they have the mark of the beast. Right. And those without knowledge, those with knowledge can calculate the number. It's a number of the name of a man. Its number is 666. And that will be placed on their forehead or part of their body. And they will not be able to buy or sell without it. Yeah, a lot. I remember hearing about that years ago. They were Sounds thinking like that a vaccination to me. We were going to get barcodes tattooed on our hand to use, like credit cards. It says it takes wisdom. It takes wisdom That's to calculate scary. the number of the beast. But think about it. If you're on your bike and and you ride your bike to the beach, and you can go across the street to Boston's and grab a drink, and you just got to wave your your microchipped hand under a scanner, it'd be kind of cool. Okay. I'm not saying I'll do it. Listen. But carrying a credit card is a pain in the fucking dick. Yeah, especially when you're at the beach. Yeah. And obviously, if you're lost, like you go in the woods or something, it's a good way to find somebody. It's very yeah, a lot people, of benefits People to are it. making a big deal out of it. Oh, they want to track you. Well, guess what? If you have a smartphone, you're being fucking Absolutely. tracked. Absolutely. Okay. But <laughs> you, you, with you the artificial intelligence nobody. aspect where they can use these 5G towers to manipulate oh, the God. brain, which is a fact. Oh, no, it's a fact? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Nothing, we're able to do that. Nothing but facts. Look up artificial on intelligence. Our uh, David Icke. They can do I that. Like him. That interview that he, he had on, uh, fuck, what the hell was it? I sent London that Real. to you. The yeah. London, yeah. I think they took that down. Of course they did. Uh huh. But did who's watch, to say. Did you watch that? Did I send that to you, the David Icke one? No, I don't think so. Who's to say they didn't use that technology Why do we need on 5G? this cop to kill that guy and start a problem like this or do it again? Have somebody do a son so thing. That that is possible. They can they can make you feel so down to what they have now. Who's to say they just can't totally control people like that? I think they can. I think it's very possible through different types of you know the brain waves and electronics to get into your brain to really irritate you or lose your mind or even kill you, give you a heart attack. It's very possible. That's the problem with the vaccination and the chips. You, your grandma, your grandma's alive. I got a ninety-seven-year-old grandma. Oh, you got good genetics. You think she died? Uh, yeah. She Where did. does she live? Your She's mother's in an assisted living home in Georgia, and she hasn't eaten in like five days. Your mother's mom? No, my dad's mom. Oh. She's ninety-seven. Holy cow! She got any money? Maybe she died of COVID. Yeah. But everyone has their shit together at 100. Henry Kissinger's almost 100. How many people live to 100? A lot now. Yeah. Quite a bit. There's a lot of... I want to lose weight just to try and see 60. This is the decade of death. I'm in the 50, your 50s. Yeah, you'll probably die before, mommy. Shut up. <laughs> I'm probably going to die until the day I can collect Social Security and croak dead the day before. Right. Has there been any 60-year-olds over 300? Or Kaz. Look at Kaz. He's alive and kicking. He's 66. 65, rather. He just turned 65. Bill Kazmaier? Yes. He's still over 300 pounds. You think so? Yeah, he's definitely over 300. He's too big. He actually got bigger. He's, that's a big dude. He hasn't died. I know that... Um, he I drinks I, a lot of beer too now. I don't know if I can ever do Trent again at my age. It just fucking What's the ruins point? Ruins me. I'm gonna have to once my the side effects out. that I feel being doing something harsh like that at my age. Okay, what's the point though? Right to gain forty pounds on your bench press. I mean, if you're still competing, I get it. But I mean, but it's been shown in studies to really help older men with muscle mass, lose the sarcopenia. Big time. To maintain muscle mass. To gain. Yeah. It's very good. Well, I'm a firm believer that by do- cycling during the COVID-19, I put a force field around my mus- muscles. I didn't quit my cycle like everyone else on the internet was saying to do. Now, you didn't do any kind of 
push-ups. Or Nothing. N- zero. Zero. It's 737, just so okay. you know. Thanks. Yep. My, son, my son's graduation is online yeah. tonight. It's he later than believe. 7. We're going to have a watch party. Oh, he was supposed to have a graduation so ceremony last and all week. That. To no, they just show their picture. Uh, what, what time is it? They're senior at? picture. That's all they show. It starts at eight, but since his, there's no good reason for that. They is go the in Taco alphabetic- Queen taping it. They got they go in alphabetical <laughs> order. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? It's I can t- call her the Taco it's Queen. A taco you absolutely queen can. Taping it. You, I mean, you can't tape it off the computer. Oh. It's on the computer. It is on live. You can always tell someone's age when they call it taping it. Yeah. You know, us old fucks. I'm trying to upload a video onto Instagram. I don't know what the fuck, man. When I'm in here, my phone just... I got real slow service terrible. right now. Yeah, yours went up. Yours is on right I now. I got Verizon. I see it here. Yeah. The one of Lenny? I yeah. got a dumb... That's going to get a million comments because it's Lenny. I got a dummy iPhone. Of course. But that's good because now I don't have to read a bunch of stupid-ass comments. Some of them are funny. Thanks but. again, Aladdin, for... The donation to Brad's weight yeah, room. Yeah, Aladdin. That's a he part of history. Through. They delivered the rest of the shit today. Wow. You should see that. It's got 120-pound dumbbells, a dumb, new dumbbell rack, another squat rack, another Olympic bar, another 500 pounds of Olympic plates. Wow. So Brad's rolling. He's going to have the best gym around. Yeah. I should I should charge membership. Misfit Tours. You hear it. If anyone wants to come over and train and do a so you thank you for inviting people to my fucking house so you need an incline to put in the power rack still huh you need an incline bench to put inside the power rack. all i'm missing is a good bench that bench you know that i got is flimsy as fuck but i can't everything on amazon is still sold out dicks had nothing when they reopened Because you really can't do chest in a home gym without inclines well i got i got the flat bench from them so i have the flat bench jay didn't see the new flat bench yeah i did yeah that's a decent bench. Were you there when I got the flat bench in the seat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, you weren't. Yeah, it was I Friday. Saw both. Oh yeah, when I cut your hair, that's right. New uh, harder floor mats. So yeah, big that whole it's gonna room. Be nice. I'm gonna have to move that fridge to the other and side. And if of you the wall. want that personal, that space con- air conditioner, let me know. I could pick that up. All right. See I'll, if it does anything. I'll have to. I'll have to fumigate the fuck out of that thing. Is there any, Dude, there's a, no black. Has the filter ever been now? changed in that yeah, thing? Oh, yes, it has. Okay. Yeah. You know, in a in a perfect world. Putting a, a proper deadlift platform underneath that power rack would be ideal. Where do I get one of those? Hammer strength. It's like a wood pad, pre-built, and on the outside where the late weights land, it's rubber. But where you would deadlift, it's wood. Yeah, nice. Because you want your sneakers on wood. Yeah. You want the weights on pad, sneakers on wood. Yeah, I, I st- But all that is unboxed. All those plates at bar, I opened the box. Wow. The dumbbells... Brand spanking new. Is it yeah. like a cookie Aladdin cutter gym through. bar? I got a great fucking gym now. It's not a Texas power bar. You have a nicer a gym Olympic than bar. Diana Maybrook. <laughs> and it's got good knurling in the middle when you squat. <laughs> They're destroying that idiot. <laughs> I know. She kind of deserves it. Chris, I love this shit Chris bra posts of Neo Vibe oh, with his sarcastic joke. comments. Who the hell would buy into that Transform shit? X has been killing it, too. I mean, who the fuck? Who is that? What's Transform X? That's CC only. He he always yeah. takes... Oh, yeah. What am I saying? Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. That... that what does, what's the name of that account? Transform X. ZC Transform only. X. That, Transform X has things. just been killing it. Yeah. That's a great, great page. Well, I reposted yeah. something that Amiri King, the king has spoken. He's, yeah. the, he, he's great. On he's Instagram on point, follow. man. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, Every, I followed him after you posted yeah, that. He's good, man. He's good. He's funny. He's got the perfect take that's cerebral. No, it's, it's not based on, you know... Bullshit. No, he's an ex-con. He's uh, oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. See, I don't know what I don't. You never know what prison's going to do to you. Like, you, I mean, it's you can't be. He has cop friends, black friends, all that shit. But you know, it, everybody, nobody does their research on somebody before they lash out at them. Just because you post something that's not with the rest of the sheep, you're right. you're, you're 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 a piece of shit. You're Anthony. He, He's he's lost quite a bit of some followers after posting all, you know, real shit. Yeah. People think, but they're too scared to fucking say or post, you know. As soon as I posted that, I lost followers. Well. <laughs> Fuck off. The minute you, you want to s- be an oversensitive cunt. The minute you say away. racism is bullshit, people get pissed off because they want to perpetuate it. It's not bullshit, but it works both ways. Black oh. people can be racist, too. I work with some motherfuckers. Okay. Older black guys, a couple of them that are racist motherfuckers. 
I'm sorry. They got oh, a chip yeah, yeah, on yeah. their shoulder and they're fucking assholes. Right. Okay. The the rest of them are very nice people. I got no problem with them. Older black people that actually lived through the the real civil rights struggle are are usually really good people. No, couple, it's this younger I, generation. That no, these guys are assholes, and and they hide behind the fucking homo Christian shit. No, I'm talking about people you know? that weren't alive in the '60s when they were sicking police dogs and fucking fire hoses on people on rioters. On lawbreakers. They weren't things in They had parade. People. Martin Luther King always had a parade permit. He was smart. He was a coward, too. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he was not. That man. Every had time to... I saw him doing a more, every time I hear a shot, he'd go, Ugh. oh, God. Talk it and like a, he was a fornicator. He was an adulterer. Slept with so many <laughs> black women. And he missed the reverend. Yeah. That, so did our president, John Kennedy. Well, he's a fornicator too. So you don't think Joe Biden had a bunch of girlfriends when he was a senator? Of course well, of he course did. Of course they did. But no, when you're a married man and you're See, supposed Joe to be B- Joe an Biden example is, to the world, Joe Biden is a complete piece of shit. But all these people, just for their hatred of Trump, they'll vote for Joe Biden and not do their research of what a fucking Joe, they, they love Trump is. when he was on The Apprentice. Uh, Joe Biden is a blithering idiot. He's Trump was he, the most popular man in America. Even before his dementia yeah. set in, he was a blithering idiot. Now he's an even bigger blithering idiot. I like what uh, Jimmy Dore says. He's like, they should be taking his car keys, not giving him the keys to the fucking exactly. White House. <laughs> he's got no chance. He can't even find... No s- chance? I don't know about the that. the way this what, shit's going you, right yeah. now? Yeah. Please. I don't know. This is a perfect fucking storm. No, I think he's... I think Biden... I think the Democrats are losing... Through, with this rioting because people outside of the urban areas are clicking on the television and they're disgusted. Yeah, well, how many of these rioters, looters, the imbeciles that do that shit are actually going to go into the voting booth? It just depends on whether or not they allow mail-in ballots because that's so susceptible to fraud. Yeah, but I heard that the flip side to that is your average Bernie Sanders supporter is somewhat transient. And he may never get his mail-in ballot because he might be living on someone else's couch or he might be back with his folks or he might have moved out of his folks and he, he's pissed at his dad and he doesn't get his mail. Why do you think they pushed that census shit so hard the last couple oh, yeah. months? Did you notice that in your mailbox? I delivered so much. Yes, th- actually, the sens- you're right. Sens- yes. Oh, you're obligated by law to fill yes. out this census. I'll tell you what. They kept sent for weeks. We were getting them. That might be yeah. the best thing that ever happened over the COVID-19 was squashing the 2020 census. Because now all these illegal aliens are not going to get counted. Because they were going to steal a bunch of electoral college votes, the big states that have a lot of illegals. They were going to get more reps. They don't need a census anyway. They know who, who the hell is here with the technology. Yeah, the satellites. Guess what? Guess what? You're just a fucking number to to the government in every country. Well, they know you're a they social security number. As long as you pay taxes, they don't give a fuck about you. Everybody, oh, they care. They don't give a shit whether you're white, black. It doesn't. Yeah, fucking paying matter. taxes is the important thing. That's it. You fuck the IRS. You're fucked. I am fucked. <laughs> you know, bitch. You're not because you probably would have gotten money back for many years. <laughs> or, yeah, exactly. You, know? you, you, you just spaced on that. If whole you're thing. not getting summons to appear in court, they owe you money. Exactly. Believe me, you're yeah, not. You're not as bad. You're not as bad <laughs> off as you fucking get think. A stimulus check or nothing. No unemployment. I got. Just because you didn't file them doesn't mean that you owe them. Correct. Money. If you owe them money, they're gonna fucking fine. You'll get a summons to appear in court. Yeah, believe me. Why do you think they don't want cash? They don't want people to have cash jobs. They don't give a shit about drug dealers and gamblers and bookies and shit. Because they, if you pay taxes on the money you make, you're good. Just the minute you stop paying taxes, that's when you're fucked. That's when you're a target. I think Ted Cruz wants to do you away with a, the IRS, doesn't he? You could, be a, you could get away with being know. a fucking pedophile. But if you don't pay your taxes, you're going to fucking jail. You know, you notice Ted- Jeffrey fucking Epstein. How long? How long did he run his bullshit? Do you notice Ted Cruz is 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 uh, he's growing that 2024 beard <laughs> so he doesn't have that weasel chin? Because <laughs> he was an yeah. attractive man, and that that hurt him in the polls. So is your buddy Rand Paul. He's growing that Grizzly yeah. Adams beard too. Yep. Oh yeah. Wait, but, wait for all the posts from getting out of the 
quarantine. Ooh, finally got my face. Kind of got my hair cut. Look, look, my. I grew it out. Just, just you know. I'm pretty proud of my COVID nineteen haircut. That's right. Came to the right place, buddy. I think it looks great. Better than when I what showed up. to the white? Is out of your hair already? The white? The color. It's that's still blonde. That's yeah, not my ble- natural I color. I bleached it. Yeah, I saw it. It just didn't look like it was bleach anymore. Well, I guess I got a haircut. Uh, I cut it the other day again. And you bleached it again too? Or no, no, that's you still. You don't really need to. Boy, his it's... hair is so thin on the top. Thanks. Yeah, I should just get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding on. He wants to grow out the Ernie. I Mc... think girls you, like you ever some see, kind of hair. Do you ever see the Ernie Mc, uh, Kingpin movie with Ernie McCrack, and yeah. Bill Murray, and Woody Harrelson? You want the Woody Harrelson comb over? <laughs> you should grow that out. What are you holding on to that shit for? Because it's too much of a pain in the ass to do it bald and keep like it looking good. A little bit of an egghead on top. I would be too anal retentive to be bald. <laughs> no, it doesn't take long and I got that electric one. I'm a trucker. I'm not going to do that on the road. I might do it in a hotel room. With an electric razor? It's easy. That's usually when I do all my grooming. you got to shave I'm, your body, too, in the summer. Yeah, I, in the, on the, not, you're not very hairy anyway, right? No. Yeah. Just my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, that the other day. What? Yeah. You didn't see the video that Andrew was filming? Where he mooned when I, Brad, when I spread dro- his ass. When I drove up to the house, yeah. Andrew was filming, and Jay's bent over, spreading his he ass. He was standing yeah. right in front of me, I yeah. thought. Looked like he had two assholes with that fucking large hemorrhoid next to it. <laughs> oh. I need to go get a rubber band put around that, let it dry up and oh. fall off. You know, that's my biggest, <laughs> my biggest fear, one of my biggest fears is, 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 Could you imagine being the person to do that? <laughs> hooking up, you know, you're, you're you're hooking up with this this chick that that you're thinking is too hot for you, and you're just like, I can't believe this. You know, you're just thinking you're standing in tall cotton, and you're and you and you get up to her room, your hemorrhoid burst, yeah, and, and you think you're you're like, I am gonna lick this chick's asshole, and you get you get up in the room, and and you start peeling off your clothes, and you go in there for the kill, and she's got a big purple hemorrhoid. And all you want to do is toss her salad. It wouldn't stop you, right? Or worse, uh, toilet paper. Clip. Oh, uh, toilet paper in the clit uh, is the worst. Uh, Stingleberry. Uh, the live women are pretty, pretty damn clean. That's their whole life. Uh, clean to theme, so. <laughs> does she have a bidet in the house, or does it have a bidet in the house? I don't know, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Bidet, bidets are everywhere in Europe. When I went over there, I noticed that. Yeah. It's a very, yeah. very Muslims common. don't use toilet They're going to be one in Bradford Manor soon. I'd like to put a bidet in there. <laughs> I love bidets. I have, I have a, a detachable shower head, so I can just pull it down. And yeah, those are a must, yeah. That's the thing with the toilet paper. That's how I get the soap too. off my taint is with a, is the shower head. Yeah. Yeah. You put the shower head down there and make sure there's no soap oh, in between yeah. your balls and your asshole. You don't want to put underpants on with soap down there. No. Be a mess. And you don't want to How put... often do you use soap? <laughs> as little as possible. <laughs> what? That's honest. I know. I don't even use deodorant in my armpits anymore. You haven't for a while, and we can tell. Yeah, but what is what good if your asshole and your nuts reek, but your armpits smell wonderful? What good is that? So you well, what, I would rather my armpits remind me I need a shower than walking around with perfumed up armpits and everyone else can smell my fucking ass. What was it that George Carlin said? Armpits, asshole, crotch, mouth. <laughs> Those are the four things you got to keep clean. Yeah, for me, a sweaty crotch, I can smell it worse than anything. Like if I've been squatting. Or like a workout Armpit or odor is not that bad if you wear clean clothes yeah. every day. And if you're drinking a lot of water. And you're eating that's ki- That's actually very I see a lot of vegans stink from their armpits. A lot of them. And obviously a lot of people eating a lot of sugar. A lot of vegans are fucking gay. Yeah. I know you <laughs> I get I get the worst BO after a night of fucking drinking. Oh, after yeah. a night of drinking, I go to work and I'm sweating. I'm just fucking, oh, man. You, that shit just comes out of your pores. Well, you know what? Yeah. Nicotine um, comes out through your pores. Yeah. Yes. If you smoke a bunch of cigarettes at the bar... You're going to stink the next day, even if you shower. Because once you start sweating at work, yeah. the nicotine comes out of you through your skin. That's why pussy is no good if the chick's a smoker. If it comes out through her skin, imagine how it comes out through a mucous membrane. That sounds like a doorbell. That's a TV. Yeah. That's a TV in there. 
You wouldn't know. If it's See, that's what I heard about an hour ago. One hurricane down. Ten to go. <laughs> and then a drunk live where I'll drop my phone in my bathtub. Oh, God. I mean pool. <laughs> Mommy's pool. <laughs> I'm a homeless trucker, remember? You got to clarify that. There's nothing wrong with it. You got hey, That's your life. That's the way you want to live. Who gives a shit? Right. Just don't ask me what I, it. Just don't ask me what I paid to rent that charger for a month. I already know. <laughs> don't talk about it. Well, who gives a shit? Hey, if you if you want to have a good time, you got to pay. What's your your stimulus check money? Who that is? Go ahead. Good, good. Put on put her on speaker. Hey, mom. Yeah, what time? Well, I need a phone this weekend. But um, and he said he's going to be home all day. And I'm thinking, well, I've got to go and reserve a truck. Um, there's a place on federal, you know, like almost to the office. I can pick one up. Um, I'm just going to get a small truck. That's all we need. Um, I don't know. What, what's a good time for you? About 10 or 11? Uh... Yeah, maybe, maybe 12, if that's okay. And I know you don't want it too late, but at your convenience, of course. Yeah, I don't want it too late. And I don't so, know God knows what the weather's going to Is he going to let you pick up that new washer-dryer as well? No, I know. I think he found somebody to... Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure he found somebody. I'm not positive on that. She sounds like Jay. But, um, I know the refrigerator, which is beautiful, but it's way too big for my space. You know, I have a small space here. And he offered it to me for... It's like if I was going to buy one for the eighteen hundred. Yeah. Um, he said it just you know, but he needs it to be reimbursed for that, and he said I'd take nine hundred for it. But it, uh, he measured it. I measured my space. No way is it going to fit. So I'm just taking it. So the washer and dryer. I think he was saying something was interested, but I didn't get a final word on it. So I I, I don't know on that. Yeah, I mean, if it's free, obviously it's a no brainer to take. I mean. But if not, yeah. don't worry about it. Obviously, if it's free, it's a no-brainer because it could be sold or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, the stove is free to me. Nice. And um, matter of fact, he got his delivered yesterday, but it had a dent in it, so he said, send it back. I went, you know, we can pay that much. You want it perfect. So, um, uh, and he doesn't yeah. use it. I mean, he's not, you know, he's not a big stove cooker. So, um, anyway, so the room is good. I'll tell him that the time will be... I know he lives out in uh, West. She's like Linda. She just does all the talking. Lake Worth somewhere. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, so 12 o'clock's good? Yeah, do you want to meet me uh, at my house? Yeah, I guess. Okay, well, I'll call you if things change as far as where the meeting's going to be, okay? So you have a dolly for that where I can put that in for you? We have that uh, red dolly, remember, that I have it over in story. Okay. I'll go pick that up. Okay. Right. All right. Maybe I got some things to put in storage, like it's just like a toaster oven yeah. of mine, maybe. A Trump, I still a have Trump some flag. bags in the back of the yeah. trunk or my car, but it was just pouring down rain when I came home today, and yeah. I said I'm not gonna work out in this rain. You know, everything gets wet and it gets moldy stuff. I left it where it was, but um, and it's supposed to rain this weekend, but I don't know if it's gonna be continuous or who knows what's gonna happen. But um. Yeah, I'll pay you for your trouble. Then. No, you don't have to pay me. Come on. Well, you know, I know you need the money, so... I think one, one of the guys wanted me to go to a Trump rally. I don't know if it's on late Saturday, but that's okay. I can go to another time. No. <laughs> no. Okay, well, listen, I'll I didn't hear. you... Uh, huh? All right. Make America great okay. again. All right. Yeah, actually, we're doing a podcast. We haven't done one. Haven't done one for six months. Don't be Good sorry, day, Franny. Andrew and Brad, just the old crew. We haven't done it in six months. So. Yeah, yeah. We got two curlies, one Shemp, and one Mo. Yeah. Okay. You hear me on speakerphone? Okay. All right. Well. Well, Noon sounds good. Okay. Yeah. There you go. I mean, oh, you mean Brad, God. not me. <laughs> you need to put him in for a skin graft. <laughs> There's not enough skin in the world to kind of rip all that he's done. 
Okay. I shall talk to you later. All right. All right. Thank thanks. You, bye. She said love you, and you cut her off. You didn't <laughs> even tell your mother you love her. I don't have to. That's a cookie cutter. <laughs> Only the cookie cutters do that. Lenny, what do you think about guys that have PTSD because they want their foreskin back? Oh, my goodness. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. There is a mental condition where people feel um, they don't feel 100% because they can't live with the anxiety that their foreskin got taken to some landfill. See, this is why the lack of discipline, <laughs> the lack of discipline from a parent, a father in particular, a coach, a teacher, like in the old days, or in some cases, a police officer gives you a good kick in the ass or a good ass whooping. You don't even think of things like that. That's a solution to the problem. That's why these little punks are out there, because they all know that. You can't hit me in school, cops. No one can touch me. That's the problem. Yeah, you see in all this shit, everybody's holding you up their fucking the rod, phones. You spare the rod. Oh, yeah. The a lot of them oh, yeah. are out there just to get that of course. for everything. video and to say, yeah, look at me. Every here. time I got yeah. hit by my father or a coach, a teacher, which they were permitted to, a nun or a cop, it's made me a better man and corrected me. Case closed. That which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Quote by Nietzsche. Obviously, improper procedure. Friedrich Nietzsche. Floyd George got killed. Probably those lips, you know, the big lips. We don't need to talk bad about didn't, him. Uh, yeah, that's, come on, Lenny. Yeah. Keep it classy. Yeah, yeah his, his criminal record and his forgery is real he, classy. They, a lot of people still, say he was a changed guy, that he did turn it around a little bit. Yeah, just went to forgery yeah. instead of a uh, home well, invasion. Well, I mean, enough, it's, enough, enough it's, it's enough. a little di- It's not like suicide by a cop. Like he, the, like the, one, yeah. the one guy, what, what was his name? The suicide bike, yeah, the one you know, that followed us. That a lot of people. I'm not he, he went out. Anything. He went sat outside of his house and shot at cops. They shot back. Yeah. And he died. A lot of people. Yep. They were cracking jokes about the basketball player who died in the copter. That was not his fault at all. There was some jokes going around. You know, I didn't partake in any of it, but I mean, this guy. I'm not going to show him any kind of reverence or anything like that to his track record. I'm not going to make fun of what happened, but I'll make fun of a facial feature. Just like anybody else has a right to. You can make fun of a dead person, alive or what. Why is he getting special rights? He's not with me, and nobody gets special rights. Unfortunately, a lot of people have that in this country, special rights over certain people, and that's got to stop. It's just not right to make fun of someone for their appearance. It's, they didn't choose that. You're right, Jay. Words of wisdom from Jay. You're right, Tubby. We need to get a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't hate me because I'm I'm going to nominate Jay <laughs> For the Nobel Peace Prize. Don't no. make fun of people for their appearance. No, Jay Mattis, that's all they do to us online. I mean, Unless it's but, Mark Lobliner. Then you can wrong. call him a yeah. fucking midget. <laughs> right. You can call him a midget, a pencil, okay. and a yeah. I, I, right. You do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Go ahead and make fun <laughs> no, of No, but that's an age-old thing. diabetic scabs on my shins, but <laughs> poor Lloyd George. Basically, you take it from where it comes. Right. You know. I, he got in some trouble. I got in some trouble in my life. I, I'm that not, doesn't mean you deserve Home invasions? I'm not the same person I was when I stole a gumball machine from a restaurant. <laughs> doesn't mean you deserve to be... No. But you got to conduct yourself accordingly. No one ever deserves to die at the hands of the police, even if you're a serial killer, Well, is my opinion. I, that's... That's a pretty broad statement. I mean, well, if you shoot at cops, you don't think you deserve it wasn't, to be... Well, you're talking about doing stuff off the books. The old school cops will tell you. I've, I've seen... I've, what? If you run from the police, you're getting a beating. If you shoot at the police, you're going to the morgue. Yeah. That's what cop... That's old school mentality. Right. It's not exactly legal. But you got to look out for yourself. When If I'm on the ground and my arms are hand tied behind my back I'm not going to keep running my mouth is what he did you keep you, your mouth shut and you try to breathe you him well, going bleh, you, bleh, bleh. you yeah you know I have a Please. little bit of I have a little bit of breathing anxiety there's video to prove that you can I'm going to do everything mouth. it takes well, dive, so. to not get handcuffed well, right and, and bullied around because I, I'm afraid I would die of an anxiety attack if you cuffed me I, I can't live like that. Could you imagine you're on trend? And you, then you start resisting. Right. If you cuffed me and put me on my stomach like George Floyd, I would absolutely lose my cool. 
I can't be treated like that because I have. I'll, I'll bet think I'm going to have a heart attack. That's what I thought the first time I saw it. Could yeah. you imagine so laying I'm on gonna, the ground? I'm going to. Yes, sir. No, sir. No problem, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm going to do anything One, it takes to not get grabbed, thrown to the ground, and cuffed. Unfortunately, that's what he was doing too. So that's why it's such a bad video to watch. Yeah. It seemed like at a certain point he was. I don't even that, care if I'm not doing anything wrong. Stop. Like I'm not going to get well, thrown to the ground and cuffed and sat on because he's violating my First Amendment rights. And I, he he was as I say he was unconscious for three minutes, and then he took his. And then he took his. And fuck those other coward cops that didn't it's stop a, that. Guy. It's a slam dunk manslaughter, but I don't. How do you prove intent? Well, was he? What I heard, I didn't see the entire video, but they said he was already in the cop car, and they pulled him back out of it. I never saw that part. I did. There's a lot we didn't he was? see. There's quite a bit we didn't They see. took him across the street. He was, like, sitting on a stoop, like having a brown bag beer and a smoke, I think, and they hauled him across the street to their cop car. The, the cop car that pulled up initially wasn't their car. Their car was across the street. Oh, so they were taking him out of one car to put him in another. No, he was a sitting on a stoop or something. He was sitting on a stoop, mm. and the cop that cuffed him took him across the street to his cop car, even though there was a cop car right there. There was a, literally a cop car right there, but they walked him. Well, because sometimes they to have f- the transport, the paddy wagon, no. where, they, where they call it. They they take him on. I think it's called. A nickel ride yeah, Where they put them In the back of the paddy those, wagon yeah. And they fucking drive Like maniacs So you bounce around Back there And, and they go all up And down Palm Beach County Until they fill that thing up You'd like to be back there With a bunch I of black prostitutes there. Well there was uh, <laughs> Some spooks on there But this one white dork I'll never forget <laughs> He had dork. a shirt that said Tickle this Elmo And with the Sesame Street character Scared to death sitting next to me. I was in the back, 380. I can't believe Lenny says spooks. And I haven't heard spook, that since some the 70s. Some spade said to me, spade. hey, big man, you could, why don't you tip to the side so you can tip this bitch over? <laughs> I was like, yeah. And then he, they had a woman up front, and the spook's like, can't she sit back here with us? And the guy's like, no. And he asked, what'd you do? He goes, I just shot my husband. He goes, oh, no. <laughs> It's like, when is this going to stop? But they kept going up and down from Boca to West Palm until they had at least 10 or 12 of us in there, male or female. Yeah, you're a bad role model, Lenny. I'm doing anything yeah. I can to not get cuffed. Anything. Well, I had to. I ordered a 1,000 Diana Ball from Thailand, and they said 996. <laughs> and I got hauled in for that nine, two days after Christmas. Oh, no shit, huh? Yeah, 1997. Mm. I don't know how I got this respiratory anxiety. It's like to just get I got it too. I, I, I agree with you. Imagine being in that position like that. Yeah. I was handcuffed when I was did an incident at the mall where they put me in the back and I was close yeah, to the Yeah, they they've posted that police. You know, like that when was, you're a little kid you love playing fort and you you're not you're not scared to crawl inside anything. Dude, as an adult <laughs> when I, I was watching television. How about an MRI machine? Oh, forget it. Can't do it. Make me I was know. watching well, you can't fit. But. I was watching television the other day and these people were scuba diving and I had to stand up and get off the couch and walk around and breathe. Because just watching people underwater on television gave me anxiety. I'm exactly with them on that. That's yeah, why. I'm I'm not a because this, because body weights. Yeah. I, I see yeah. people like on shows, like where they're breaking out of prison and they're trying to crawl through a small hole, and I get a panic attack. I can't watch shit like that, even though it's not even real. Okay, so all the trolls need to go on YouTube and what was the name of that stupid show Joe Rogan used to host? Fear Factor. Fear Factor. Find all the Fear Factor videos you can of like people. Claustrophobia. Yeah, claustrophobia oh. and locked in coffins and send them to Jay. Did they do that? I thought they were just eating bugs. And stuff. No, they, that's, they that's why I want to be. Um, what's it called when they burn the body? People I mean, buried, I'm buried gonna be, alive. I, I, what's it called when they burn the body? <laughs> I forgot. I want to be cremated 100% for sure because I am so scared. If there's an afterlife, I ain't going to be in no box. Where do you want to? I suggest we ship Jay's body to Auschwitz and use one of those old crematoriums for Jay. (laughs) 
<laughs> we just burn them at, at Bradford no, Manor. Brad and Valerie See, are going to throw them right in the fireplace. I'm going to get cremated, and Brad the and Valerie pit. are going to take my ashes to the Michigan Ohio State game. There and at go. the end of the game, as people are filing out and no one's really paying attention, I'll dump gonna, them on the you. Ohio you know State what we'll fans? do? <laughs> out of the field. Oh, okay. oh, that'd be great. Well, that's no, a, seriously, that's where, doable. Do you want, where do you want your ashes spread? Michigan Stadium. Michigan Stadium? Yeah, why not? Okay. I want my ashes on the piss square. <laughs> In that old shithole? Have you, have you visited there since you've been back? 100 place. No? We could find a better place for that. By the way, Joe Rogan, a $100 million contract. Whoever pays him, you do me a favor. Shit? Wipe your ass with it first. At least I'll sleep better. Good God. $100 million. He's money, though, man. He's good. No, he's not. He's overrated. His guests good. are good. I think he's a clown. You think he's a pothead. He talks like a <laughs> like a millennial douchebag. He thinks he's a tough guy. He's very. He stays very Switzerland. Yeah, he doesn't. He, he bring doesn't. Any, he brings nothing to the I, table. I don't know if you want to get in the ring with Joe Rogan, do you? He's kind of a tough guy, isn't he? He thinks he is with his cocaine. There are videos friend. of him throwing some pretty good karate kicks. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe you could kick that. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm gonna go. I I I thought he was known. Didn't he? He didn't do any MMA a long time ago or he's anything like that. He no was, boxing. Yeah, he's a, he's got a black belt. He's like the oh, okay. that went to karate he, class. He, he like that won, never fought. And once somebody got a hold of him, you know, he, he ran I think he won for the like covers. A taekwondo he's a fucking cunt. And, he's very overrated. He, he's a has been like you. You got to be real good he's at karate got some state though. State titles like you. Well, I won over. No, f- it, that's it, you're speaking out of jail. Yeah, I won the over forty Florida Strongman in 2012. That wasn't that long ago. That's true. Bench 500 pounds raw. And I'm still entered in that powerlifting meet in Las Vegas. It just hasn't been rescheduled. Hmm. And now that I think I when can... When are they going to announce the rescheduling? I don't know. But now I think I can do a token squat since I've been working out on the leg press at oh, Palm Beach token. Gym. Token. <laughs> see, to get the record, you can't go to a bench-only meet like I did at, at, at the... That gym, but that makes no sense to me. Point and barbell. They're two. They're, they're two different. They're two different bench press records. There's one if you go to a bench press only contest. There's a second record for a full power meet where you have to bench, squat, and deadlift. So, enable to to proceed to the bench press, I would need a legal squat on the books, and I wouldn't consider doing anything less than one thirty five. Because that would just be humiliating to go out there and squat 95. <laughs> but it would. It would. So, um, so I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to squat 135 without a box. So I was going to not do it. But it got postponed because of the COVID. Now I think without the box, I can go out there and squat 135 to parallel, I think. I'm sure you could. Well, it's it's not that easy. Um, I worked on my quads a little bit yesterday, and I actually stole – a play out of the big Brad Wolf playbook yesterday. Um, since my surgery, I have not been on the hack squat machine because after you have quad tendon reattachment, that's the last yeah. machine you want to get on. Hacks is pure bodybuilding, pure So look, yesterday, pure yesterday, I grabbed the fucking inflatable ball, like bouncing ball Brad did in, when, on that hack squat video that I took. Mm-hmm. Remember that? When yep. the trolls right, killed him? Yeah. You and, did it too. I no, did some medicine. I, I did some stabilizer ball hack squats yesterday for the first time. You don't remember that? And the the quadricep contraction I got yesterday without any weights on that carriage, just using an empty machine. On the I did I did um, three sets of fifteen on the hack squat machine yesterday. My quads are fucking sore, and I so it's it's just baby steps. You can't just come out of rehab and go do a parallel squat with no box. You got to work different things: box squats, leg press. And it's just stomping it. You get, because you your can't. quads are the brakes at the bottom of the squat that allow you to change directions. Yeah. So with no confidence in these tendons, if if I squat down with no box there, I'm going all the way to the floor. I use that box to feel safe and then i can push up and i could probably box squat 315 how's right the now. pain and the recuperation on that i don't do anything that makes my knees sore do you ever get knee soreness driving the truck no yes. that's hell because i get it on call no my i um 
You know, yesterday on the leg extensions, you know that gay fucking exercise. Um, Knee destroyers. I hopped on the I hopped on the leg extension because I knew I was going to attempt hack squats that day, and um, I hadn't quite dis- figured out I was going to do medicine ball Brad routine. So I started on the leg extension. I put a hundred pounds on, which is nothing on the leg extension. I couldn't do it. I'm like, Jesus Christ, my quads are weak. So I lowered it to 70. I squeaked out eight reps and I'm like, fuck, are you telling me my quads are that weak? I just got eight reps with 70. You know, my surgery was 14 months ago. So I, I, I leave it. It's, I leave it at 70 cause I only got eight reps this time. The second set, I think because I was warmed up, I got 15. So now my quads are, are warmed up. I go over there, I do the medicine ball, the bouncing beach ball Brad hack squats. <laughs> I, do just the, I do just the naked carriage for three sets of 15. Now my fucking quads are fucking pumped because um, I hadn't done hack squats. All I've done is squat, hack squat, or squat, leg press, and deadlift. And then I went over and finished them off on the leg press. And I finished them off. Um, my t- I only went up to four plates each side. And I did a set of 15. But you Pretty know good. me. I go deep on my leg yeah, press. Yeah, real good. Um, so and I'm just going to stay right there because the most I've squatted so far is that 225 box squat. I don't know if you saw it. I did. Um, and my philosophy is you don't need to be leg pressing any more than twice what you can free weight squat. So if I'm squatting two plates right now, I am not going above four plates on a leg press. Do you think I could leg press six plates aside? Yes. But why? Why? That's yeah. like those female bodybuilders that put 1,600 pounds on a leg press, but they can't even squat four plates aside. And they, and they, they oh, new PR on the leg press. Female, the male's doing that shit. Yeah. How about that one video of the guy that, Stacked all the weights on the leg press and broke, and his fucking knees. Went I don't want to see that shit. There, are, there are a few of those videos. Oh. Dude, I get the heebie-jeebies oh. whenever I see someone squatting and they're not inside a power rack for safety. After, after what happened to me, if if I wasn't in a power rack, that could have broke my neck. Yeah, and I could have been dead. I, know. I put those bars up every time I squat. Now I don't care how much weight I put on. Could've, right, weight yeah. could have crushed your toes. Yeah, that is not something to watch. Your your video you, is the worst. You need to squat inside a power rack. Yeah, I don't care how much weight you're doing or how big you are. Well, squat rack has the safety. Yeah, yeah somewhat. The, yeah, the, yeah. And the, the, the those, other squat rack you right bought has the, the safeties too. Right, that's what I mean. They have the, the tri level. Yeah, yeah. I know. I did that. Just be, shit. Watch yourself. I think I did that alone. shit once with the. The medicine ball, just you know. Watch yourself benching alone. Yeah, but I'm and, telling and you, I got so triggered about it, I would do it again, just like when I was wearing the, the bandanas yeah, but, in the videos, uh, yeah. just because I saw how triggered people got seeing me wear a band. Remember, we were gonna. Yeah, but I'm I telling you, put a different bandana put, on. For putting that stabilizer ball underneath my videos butt on the hack squats got back. me to do the hack squat. I think for rehab, there's nothing wrong with that. But you're healthy. You don't need it. No. Watch that pension alone. No, bench. I don't go more than two twenty five now. So. I'm thinking about leaving my tire chains at your in your garage. Oh perfect. Why don't you leave everything you fucking have? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was thinking those ch- leave, I I'll actually the only thing I want you to leave is a Glock. No, that's my forty five. Um those tire chains, because they're for a semi tire and they're bigger, dude, we could use those for squatting and benching. And you don't need them in the summer anyway. No. It, and I, I got six chains, right? And it, they'd be so easy to use because the chain goes across like this. So you, you drape that on the end of the bar, and it's going to hang perfectly. And there'll be a pile on the floor like you want. I don't like all that bullshit. And they're long enough to do squats. Yeah. And you could bench with them. And, dude, there's nothing like benching and squatting with chains. Try it once. You'll fucking love it because it's lighter at the bottom and you push and it's nice and then it gets real fucking hard. It's fun. Helps your weak points. That's interesting. Be- benching with chains is fucking fun. You got to, if you're not having fun when you're lifting, get the fuck out of there. It makes you feel like Samson tied up to fun. a temple with chains. Fun. Oh, Lenny doesn't like fun. Fun. Well, the fun, fun. fun is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now now the word fun, fun is. Fun. N- n- <laughs> 
Well, it's they didn't have negotiable. they didn't have chains. And sit around a bunch of brunch, drunk black girls at a bar, <laughs> or something like that. They didn't have bands and chains when I was coming up in the in the powerlifting. I consider that stuff fun. Bands are evil. Chains are not. Because a band, you get no rest at the top. That band. But still, you have bands too, don't you? I've yeah. seen you work. But out at the bands. top, at the top of the lift. A band still wants to bring that weight down and kill you, whereas a chain you can rest. I don't know if that makes sense. It's constant tension. Exactly. The chain you can rest at the top. Bands you cannot. So, Lenny chain. always talks about the te- keep the tension on. Yeah. Well, but there's nothing better than poking a band to your barbell. And yeah, different types of things. But you can't be like Big Rob things. and be throwing chains on every exercise. They should be done for the bench, the squat, and the deadlift. He, he just does that to look tough. Yeah. You, Who's that? Big Rob Fitness. You're Albanian, buddy. <laughs> Never heard of her. <laughs> no, but chains, chains, are, are, chains and bands should be used on bench, squat, and deadlift, and that's it. I don't know if you guys have seen people deadlifting with bands where they have the, the pegs on the back of the platform and on the front of the platform, and you put the band over the bar and you attach on both pegs. That's a blast because you only need like two or three plates on each side, and then at the top you get all that band tension, and it's like 500 fucking pounds. Interesting. I also want to go to um, Boca House of Steel and use one of those safety squat bars. Yeah. You know the ones where your arms are out front? I tried those. I, you, you really have, you got to get used to them. It takes yeah. you used yeah, to Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. you got to get used well, to it. With the two bars? Front, yeah. The front yeah. squats are a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. Front Seems like you the quad's good with those. It, 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 if, if L.A. had a fucking safety bar squat, I, that's all I would do. Mike Webster started doing those in the mid-'80s when that first came out. Fred Hatfield. Can you use that in a competition or no? No. Fred Hatfield invented that. But when you're hurt, there's nothing better than that safety bar squat because having your hands out here, you've got the confidence as opposed to your hands way back here. It's, it's You can hit those quads really well. Hmm. Speeds are making up upright position. I'd love to try that. You're done with LA Fitness now, right? Pretty much. Palm just Palm Beach Gym. Yeah. Palm Beach Gym is awesome. I loved it. It is a good gym. It's I trained there for a week. I loved it. Not busy. Well, it's good when it's not busy, but when it's There's busy, no the shit is very close together. No. Do you still have your membership at LA or no? Yeah. You yeah, do? I, I got a lot. Marvin got me a U-Fit. There's some pussy at Palm Beach Gym. There's pussy at every gym down here, Jay. Not every gym. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah, Want to be powerlifter, bitch. Tongue, tongue kissing her. That punk she's with. You know the one that was squatting at the one time we were there? Real pale skin, black hair, tongue in the guy, looking around the parking lot after the work. I like, I give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you were a bull, you would have come over there and asked him if you could be of any service. <laughs> Say, I do, I do cream pies. Uh. <laughs> so a lot of these young millennials, they're, they're down with a cream pie on their old lady. They think it's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's your birthday. I want to get, imagine you doing that, Brad. It's my no. girl's birthday. Dude, these hipster kids have chance. these young never, hipster never. kids have no masculinity. And if None. I was ever with the chick that asked for that, goodbye. They don't goodbye. think like that. These kids are think. Well, it, that's her. She identifies as a whore, but when we were not in the bedroom, um, she's a really good partner. It's all about how you identify. Where do you see this shit? I believe Lenny. You, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I don't you get see it. it on the internet. No, I I know the psychology of of these these kids. Yeah, they the the woman calls the shot because the man is so afraid of of being labeled toxic masculinity. If the woman wants to open up the relationship, like hey, I think we should have another dick in thanks, here. Thanks, thanks to the Me Too movement. Right, I think we need another dick in here. He can't object because she she identifies as a person who likes threesomes. So if he doesn't agree to it, he's a bigot. Okay. It makes sense, right? Well, I identify as a person who wants to have two cocks. In 2020, it makes sense. I mean, Nothing can... makes sense now. No, yes. You have to make your own sense. Right. <laughs> no, it, it, if, if you've got like boomer... Um, ethics and morals 
you're a racist and a fossil and you need to go die somewhere. Right. Women should be seen, not heard. Yeah. If, if you can't Stay have, in the kitchen. You can't the have room. these 1950s, 1960s morals and ethics because that's racist, it's misogynist, and all these other words they got. You're, you're an outdated dinosaur. Please go away and die. Meanwhile, I'm sure a lot of women would love to stay at home, not have to work, take care of the house, instead of going out there working, you know. Think about all these people during the COVID-19 that were stuck at home together, married couples. Oh. These stay-at-home women. How about all? How about all the mistresses and the side pieces that weren't that weren't yeah. getting their fucking their no, but, handouts yeah. those months? Let's say you're <laughs> let's say you're quarantined, and 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 you got a real good job. Let's say you're an attorney and you're used to making three hundred thousand, but there was no court during COVID nineteen. So right now, yeah, because court's not essential. You've you've got no income, right? You're used to three hundred thousand a year. You've got no income, and you got a house payment. Let's just, let's say it's three grand. And then you got you got your your Mercedes payment that let's say seven fifty or eight hundred. You got the wife's um, Escalade payment, right? Eight another eight hundred bucks a month. And you've been to you've been at home alone with her the past six weeks, and you see what she does all day while you're at work, and she's been telling you how hard it is. And <laughs> and you're just sitting there. That's why with, domestic abuse. Went you're, up. <laughs> you're you're witnessing it for the very first time. What she's been telling you has been so difficult. And, and and then you're looking out in the driveway and you're like, why am I making payments on both these cars? She doesn't need a car. She can use mine when I get home from work. She can do grocery shopping on the weekends. Why not? It's funny. I just read an article about how divorce lawyers are up to their eyeballs right now in work. <laughs> it was in the New York Post. Think about the AA meetings. They got to be overflowing. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. They closed those down, but the liquor store stayed open. Drug <laughs> <Locket> dealers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are we about ready to wrap this up? I'm going to grab my third beer. Yeah, <laughs> we can wrap it up. We did. Dale, get off that motorcycle. It's advice from Big Lenny. It's and too that, risky. Yeah, I, don't Dale, do it. Dale, look forward to the Ruby maybe next year. With maybe Lenny. not this year. No, I, I took a second one. Not with kids. Thanks, buddy. You know, Dale, you actually want to diet now? I heard you're feeling down the dumps because of this, but a motorcycle isn't the answer. What's that? What'd you say? Dale being down in the dumps right now. But he's, fucking, Cheryl? he's fucking bored. What about a Motorcycle's not the answer. Why is he down in the dumps? Yeah. Why is he down dumps? Didn't Cheryl leave him? Is there truth to that? I don't know. I, don't I didn't hear so. that. No, I didn't hear that. Dale's a keeper. Yeah, well, that's what... That's that, hey, listen. You want to... You wanna... Is it the wife leaving him or the alimony payments that have him down in the dumps? Yeah. The, the Me Too, the feminists don't complain about their alimony payments, do they? You don't hear them complaining about <laughs> when they get half your shit when you get fucking divorced, right? Some guys are probably thrilled if they leave their wife. They just don't want to make the alimony payments. No. Did, I don't know if that really happened to him, but I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. But hey, whatever. It, it happens. I don't know. I, Delray Misfits gear. Take a look. Big Lenny book cameos and the Big Lenny show. Hope we got something to put on for it. We'll see. The Big we Lenny show. Is that how it is on? Didn't didn't when you guys started that? Didn't somebody steal that? I don't know. Oh. Damn, that was quick. How the fuck did you get out to that? Holy shit. He can run to get a fucking beer. I, I, I think <laughs> I've turned into a Chrysler guy. I just love that Dodge Charger. I walk out there and I look at that car and I'm like, I know that's down here in South Florida, that's not the most expensive car, but I would be proud as fuck to own that car. That's a sweet ride. See, my son has that Charger. He likes it good car you got your son that charger i would spend the extra money and get the hemi v8 Brad, you got your son a charger he's had it for since he was dry 16 you bought it it's it's uh it's cartel money you didn't hear <laughs> <laughs> that's their rumor wow hey at least i know my child support goes to the right place 
Actually goes to my children. I'm watching his really? graduation right now. All they're doing is flying through all these kids. This is this is the, this is it. This, this is, is all it is. This is the graduation right now. That's pathetic. I thought Look at it was that a fucking dork. Another one. Wait, this is the whole thing. It just shows his picture for <laughs> yeah, two this seconds. Is, this is what it is. This is the fucking graduation. Lenny, you you can't. Year. You can't judge these kids because <laughs> why? Look, that looks like a mugshot. If you, if you tried to make your way <laughs> through the hell that high that? school being an alpha male, big weightlifting badass, but there you, know, you go. Th- this is this is. You I couldn't mean, get away with it. I know. No, yeah, you have to be a twink. They'd expel you. They'd find something you're Yes. Right. Yeah, I, I see what you're coming Toxic from. masculinity. That's sad, maniacs. <laughs> Just, unfortunately, when you're around these type of people, these leftists, well, let's keep see your, your let's opinions see, to let's yourself. See your, let's see your graduation photo, Leonard. We saw it, didn't we? Didn't I yeah, show it? Yeah, it's Yeah, you look like a little fucking... <laughs> No, Cookie cutter went. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> my father wanted me to didn't well, want me so bad. Dude, time. the high school football teams in my day could crush these modern day kids. Is it even showing Look, his their nose? Started no? twitching when he saw the black girl. Look at him. That's you're looking at eighteen year old children. That's an ideal age. I say sixteen. <laughs> Whoa, Ooh, that one had go. no hair. I like the no hair. I love no hair. I'm not even attracted to women until they're about thirty. Oh, they're in the B's. He's in the M's. We got a little ways to go. Okay. Well, How many funny. kids are in his class? Eight, Feminism. Eight hundred. Started serious? that. Yeah. Eighteen-year-old wow. law. Who made that law? Schools still are fucking like packed geez. down here, man. Are you allowed to say which one he went to? No. Well, he's not there anymore. They don't right. I would. I, what? What are we? That looks like Andre the Giant. I know. You <laughs> see that fucking. Look kid. at that kid. The trolls will get your books and find out everything about them. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> no, they, they, listen. They, I don't care if they dox me. Kids, just keep the fuck out of it. And that's, Uncle that's Dave, that's where you cross the line. Brad, you cross the line. Huh? You shouldn't even say that. Why? Yeah, because then it makes them want to do some shit. That's all right. My son was in a couple videos. Yeah, what what yeah. episodes was that? That's a, he was with JT, boxing with JT. He's got good size. He's bigger than me now. Not. Yeah. Oh, he'll he's taller, yeah. He's about 5'11". JT's got nitrous on his bike. He's going to college up by Dale. Catholic school. Yeah, I'll have to have Dale walk. Keep an eye on him. Look at this. How close is he? I don't know. i got to call Dale about that, actually. Dale can roll up on there in his big F-250. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you me? They're children, Lenny. 18-year-olds are children, you oh, prefer. No, 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 no. That's what the feminists want to If an 18-year-old girl... <laughs> if an 18-year-old girl fucking cli- started climbing all over me, kissing me, I'd be more likely to give her a spanking for being a bad girl. Well, that too. Yeah, that's, I can see the fun of <laughs> uh, Any of these girls are considered average in school. See, the thing is, if you see them like a Walmart or, or on public, you compliment them. They're not used to that. I don't. Nothing, nothing I don't talk likes. to Listen, high school girls. It's different down in South. You guys didn't grow up in South Florida. Fucking girls down here. Jesus Christ. They like Ask compliments. They like compliments. No, but how many beautiful women do you see? If you go out to a Publix or a Walmart or where, how many? The Publix by the Palm Beach gym. It's got the most beautiful women in the world every single day. Yeah. That's Publix three sixty nine. It, it's just. I'm thinking the point. Walmart. <laughs> Lenny, that 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 you plaza, like, you like ghetto girl. that plaza where the Palm Beach gym is, all those shops in that parking lot, you see knockout women that you would eat. Well, East Boke is big money, right? A lot of trophy, old, old lot of men trophy got trophy wives. wives. Yeah, yes. Some old man with a cigarette boat on the fucking intercoastal. Mm-hmm. You can get so much pussy with a boat. Mm-hmm. They marry those guys for the money, and then they fuck the the pool man for the, you know. Some dirty Colombian. <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> what letter are they up to? C? What? You, pool man C. Is They're going blue eyed quick. blondes at his school, Brad. Oh my God. Of any race or sex? Jesus, Lenny's up for guys now. Show him a guy. <laughs> <laughs> he always has been. Come on. Just as long as he's you wearing wish. a wig. You wish. 
And it's not always a wig the trannies wear. That's very true. What's her face got a shaved head? The well, that kid had a late. Bad I'm just, lazy I'm just eye. really, really upset about Lenny showing the picture of the goddess's feet. Yeah, Jesus Christ. How the Who fuck would put would that manto put... in their mouth? Well, you put it on their escort side. And, uh, Who would suck a manto? That's a, well, I wouldn't say that. I'd be more of course willing. you wouldn't because you right. did it. All right, here we go. Would you rather a hot... Oh, God. <laughs> Brad, listen. Would you rather a hot, I mean beautiful tranny, suck your cock or you suck her big toe? None of the above. <laughs> I'm not putting a man's toe in my mouth. You want to suck my dick, go for it. But I'm not putting your foot in my mouth. You're a man. I don't want no. Twitching like a motherfucker. I don't want no man toe in my Look at mouth. This young gal sent me a message. I, listen. Read it. Read it in your microphone. Hey, Lanny. I know you're probably not going to read this, but I've seen you in Walmart, and I want to apologize on how my this family is fake. acted. I understand you was trying to give a complaint compliment. But Smoke a they bowl. can be very overprotective. Did you post a video clip of him tell, telling a story at Walmart? So I hope you accept my my apology on behalf of all of us. Thank you and keep being great. Just what you saw. You know what happens is I said I complimented. There's a voice him. message there. Yeah, tap, the, tap the voice my message. Voice. I want to hear what you responded to there. <laughs> oh, I Click on the profile. I was outraged because I said, oh, looking good, babe. And they father and mother and started screaming like, oh what are you talking about girl she's only 16 or whatever and she apologized and just to be overprotective but appreciate the compliments but she wrote a complaint but a compliment why you told her what your Instagram was no I, I just said she was friendly like who the hell are you I said I'm Big Lenny <laughs> YouTube oh, he salary always, he always does that you want to be famous you want to be on camera Work. Oh God, he's got yeah. Genovism in him. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. actually like full <laughs> blood right. fucking. Gets the entitlement shit going too. Believe me. Yeah. Hey Lenny, <laughs> that day yeah. I that day I met you at uh, Palm Beach Gym. You know who was there on the treadmill? Who? PJ Zek Salvina. When we were walking out, I saw this this hot chick kind of like do a oh, double oh yeah she is i remember her she did a i saw this chick on a treadmill she kind of did a double take like she looked at us she looked down don't you speak to her on instagram yeah yeah, yeah. i'm friends with salvina uh, she she asked me the other day were you guys because i didn't i wasn't 100 percent sure it was her and um because she did a double take she on was us. a brunette right yeah 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 she so, did a video with jason once did she yeah so anyway um yeah on his own Oh. Yes, Salvina's a good person. I like Salvina. I got no problems with her. Just because she's not with PJ doesn't mean she's bad or he's bad. Dude, what, what happens between other people, that's the right. business. Just right. because You can be friends with both people. If they have a problem with each other, that's between them. That doesn't mean it's got to be between you. That's why you yeah, got to stay out, works out, stay out of some of shit like that. You can be friends with both people even if they have a problem with each other. It's not, it has nothing to do with you. So, I, I agree. Like, I would more than gladly be friends with Valerie after it's over. Yeah, and I wouldn't give a shit because it's nothing that, you know. In, in fact, I, I, un, I unblocked your ex. That's fine. Right. <laughs> fuck you, don't ever talk to me again, you traitor. You fuck. Well, I was clearing out my blocked book, my blocked bo my blocked folder. And I saw Brad's ex-girlfriend was on there. I was like, well, this is stupid. I'm surprised she didn't block you. I think she blocked all of Dude, us. Dude, Brad came over to my house immediately after the breakup, pounded on my door, you got to block her. He was nuts. Okay, okay, buddy. Calm down. You love making stupid shit up. I don't tell anybody to do anything. You do what you want. No, but... You said as a courtesy that we... My we, thing is public. So, and you know what? You can make a fake account, look at whatever. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Uh, you want to be a stalker, that's your problem. I met this girl the other day at Maniac Sauce in Lake Worth. Having some drinks. Oh, she's all right, man. Yeah. Her name's Monica. How'd you get that picture of her? She sent it to me. Put the microphone up to your mouth. So the maniac 
Did he he took a picture of you and her? Or you yeah, and him? Yeah. Maniac sauce? Yeah. Saw him in Lake Worth. Lenny went I know down who that Lenny is. went down to one of the marches. Maniac sauce. That that's his no, screen no. name? Maniac saw us. Oh. Keep drinking that sauce. <laughs> Fucking dipshit. There he is. Same's Eduardo. Eduardo, okay. Nice. All right, who's got some You couldn't grass? stand up and give him a better picture? No, it's smashed. I brought some stuff over that's not stale. Jay, Jay complained to me the other day. Andrew had the oldest pot ever when I went over there. It almost burned the house down. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. You got high. What do you give a shit? Yeah. I lit a match and it caught the curtains It's so on funny. Fire whenever we he, give Jay he, something, he takes it immediately. He's, <laughs> sitting, he, he, he's sitting there holding my forty four, just staring at it. Like Jay, what are you doing? He's like, oh, and put it in your mouth. That's the weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you missed one. At, like, yeah. Let's wrap this That's shit up. Park Vista, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, you can right. just guarantee yeah. look at these people and guarantee how they talk, what they're into, just by looking. You no, know, you can't, Lenny. Some of these kids have got. You got to try parents. to figure out who the school shooter is going to be. <laughs> I've seen a few. I've seen a few of them. That's the thing, you know. It's it, it, it's amazing. You notice all the mass shooters are crazy white boys. Well, that's there. Look, there's one. Yeah. That. Could, could wind up being a medic in the Green Berets for all you know. Oh, oh, uh -huh. oh there we go. Whoa. <laughs> Future tranny. I was going to say, just picture him in a wig. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, so, whoa. But can you believe this is what it's come down to? You know? Yeah. For a fu for the fucking how, how about everybody just wear a mask and gloves? Act like it's fucking leprosy running around. Yeah, but they act like it's a fucking M Night Shyamalan movie, like the one where the Mark Wahlberg was in, where they the trees like let off some yeah yeah thing. yeah. Immediately yep. you're dead if you catch this. No, the kids they, are not a fear mongering mother. What was the one with Matt cocksuckers. Dustin Hoffman? That was a good one. I'll break. All right, yeah. Up until mid-March, I was in that playroom with the door shut with 200-some people where naked bodies are just going against me because I'm standing there. Uh, mid-March. Mid-March. Lenny could have had the COVID-19 in February, and he wouldn't even know. Right. So if it was so serious, I would have had it. People coughing, coming, shitting, pissing, you name it, all over the floor. I don't let people come on me. No. I mean, if you're going to come near me, just don't come on me. They have an infrared light. What if yeah. you're with you the, go in the room when it's dark and there's splatters all over the ceiling? It shows DNA, over. like. <laughs> that's that's, that's your type of place. All over the place. You belong there. It's too and, bad you lost. Yeah, but you can't get COVID nineteen through semen. It's basically saliva. Well, there's a lot of that going on. Kissing, you know, vapor there's that comes worse, out of your. There's worse shit than COVID nineteen. I got fucking news for you. Tetanus. Just, they oh, acted like this was an automatic tetanus. death sentence if you. I would. I'd rather have COVID nineteen than tetanus. There's shit on that floor. All Rabies. The time. Up the ass. All the ass. You know, if there's a rabid fox running around the beach here in Delray, they don't shut the beach down. They wait till someone gets bit and reports it. Then they fucking shoot the fox. I've never heard of a fox running on Delray Beach. I've heard of two people in Delray that got bit by a rabid fox. You don't think there's fox around here? There are foxes in this development. I'll see them at night. Really? Yeah. They're absolutely. usually pretty shy. That's pretty rare to actually no, no, see no, I once saw a bobcat no, outside my house. Bright. I posted really? the pictures on they Facebook. They out during the day, too. Yeah. They're very shy. A few shy. years ago. Bobcat are smart, too. Bobcats are killers. They'll kill something twice their size. No cats are killers. Yeah. Where are your two cats? You got two Hiding ones. in my room. All right, let's smoke a ball. They're, they're, they're Freddy cats like Kimbo? They just, they're so used to just me. Until we start getting that, paid for this, we need to end this. Yeah. Good luck. The way we, we talk, should do a Patreon. No, nobody's nobody's going to sponsor the, we, yeah. we're not politically correct. We don't, we don't, we don't fall in line with all the SJW. Brad's like the it's Joe Rogan happening. of the Misfits. Yeah, please. Don't even get the fuck out of here. 
I'm not Brad, Switzerland. You do your voice does have to show. Brad doesn't need hair transplants like Joe Rogan. <laughs> Lenny, Be- beautiful head of hair. Lenny, the podcast. fans are telling me I look like one of the nasty boys. Yeah, yeah, you do. I don't even know who it is. Brian. Knobs. Yeah. Not really. He's, he has a, he's flabby. The, the two of you, if you guys go anywhere. No, ev- no, but I'm saying if the two of you go out anywhere in public, people would think. They all obviously do a double take and think you were former wrestlers or ball players. I think, I think we were lovers. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny looks like a completely washed up offensive lineman. <laughs> that that stopped lifting the minute he graduated college. Oh please. <laughs> Three fifteen with vascular and guard nose. Jay's looks like Vader all the way. But Vader had a bigger Oh, guts. Yeah. Jay's a Vader. Vader was See, an offensive yeah. lineman for the Colorado Buffaloes and Los Angeles Rams. Wow. He played against the Steelers in the Super Bowl. Dude, I get into the Ultimate Warrior videos yeah. once he got to yeah, be an old was, man. He was uh, – growing up, he was one of the ones I liked. That's when wrestling – after that. No, I like his retirement videos right before he died. No, but I'm saying that era of wrestling a, was like, great. That kind of now, old man. Now, how the fuck do you watch wrestling? How does anybody want to watch fucking wrestling now ultimate warriors like that 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 teacher you had that just made sure you weren't gonna be a pussy you're not gonna get away with being a pussy not anymore right you're it's almost like you're encouraged to be a fucking pussy he'd go before for pay-per-view vince unless i get an extra million dollars i'm not coming out i i heard some some stories from other wrestlers that Warrior was just so psychotic in the locker room. Like, just no one, no one wanted to talk to the Warrior. He was weird, I guess. Very. His fucking videos, though, where he's in that log cabin or wherever he did those videos before, right before he died, those are gold. Yeah, you sent me a couple of those. Those yeah. are gold. You mean when he's talking about subjects? Yeah. yeah. Inspirational moments with the Warrior. Holy shit, I could watch those all night. All right, let's smoke a bowl. All right, let's go. Good night, everybody. You're That's welcome. it. Episode 65. When are we going to do another one? 66 is next. Well, 66. I'll be, Does uh, that mean we got to have the fucking window will, liquor here? I will be on Adam McLeod's New Universal Order podcast on June 20th. Oh, yeah. June yep. 20th, you're going? So. That's over a month away. Couple no, that's a couple of weeks. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be right around the corner. Um, check it out. Uh, but in the meantime, book cameos and the Big Lenny Show. I guess something rolling here. Yeah. I also got some different shirts coming on my own label, my own designs. Yeah, what's up with those? Coming, they're on the way. and I want one. A few different items, sure. And we got one with the goddess on it, too. Not a guarantee, but pretty pretty sure. Yeah, I don't want that one. But the ones that he first posted. You may th- want it. Those Maybe, nice... I think it's going to be big. Yeah, I'll use them when I get a cup of with a joint With a joint in their mouth? <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> all right that fake adam mcleod today on on joe's live was hilarious he was calling out christian duke from strength addicts christian doof right yeah he, he walked he was a nice guy but he's just a lot just an he's a nice dude doofus. but he, yeah. he he's too he's too fucking nice almost my my problem with like, stop with, kissing ass give us your fucking opinion will you please you know what you know what christian did wrong the past couple of days, he walked with the thugs. No, he didn't. Oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, Another one that's got a... Nice guy. Good guy. Got no, no. But he, he, he posted videos of him down there in Louisville, which is bad news. And he walked amongst the thugs and was, was showing pictures of his wristband that said Black Lives Matter. Good night. No right. It's going to lose half his fan base. So, it, Also, check out Leo and Longevity series. You have Meow Man, myself, Tony Huge, which is very good segments, and okay. Boston Lloyd, and the health and physical and mental performance advice and knowledge that Leo brings to the table is unparalleled. To me, the biggest, best kept secret in Egypt. Let's not keep it a secret anymore. Let's get out there because I'm going to make another appearance. Learn a lot of good stuff from him. He's been there. He's done that. 
Been there, done that. Hey, Mel Chauncey started following me this week. Because you look like his fat older brother. <laughs> I think I might be younger. <laughs> All right. Good night, maniacs. See you in another six months. <laughs> See you at the new Universal Order podcast.